you say the quarterback's name? Ethan Nighting. 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 Yeah. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight on BASD YouTube TV. Tonight we have Freedom Patriots versus Nazareth Blue Eagles. Freedom comes in the game with a 2-0, beating Northampton 44-20 and beating Easton 21-10. Nazareth entering tonight's matchup 3-0, beating Central Catholic 33-20, beating Bethlehem Catholic 21-0, and beating Northampton 27-17. Well, I would like to welcome my uh, co-worker tonight and uh, welcome him to the show, Mr. Danny Kramis. Welcome, Danny. Thanks, Joe. Excited to be here. Excited to be back in the stadium, seeing some live football. Let's kick that ball off. Let's get it rolling. Danny is a former former Northampton standout football and baseball player and uh, coached football and baseball at Freedom High School for many years. Danny, welcome again to the show. And uh, Danny, I don't know if you remember this. You were probably a little boy at the time, but uh, your brother and I had quite the competition. Your brother was a senior the same year I was and I was at Liberty and he was at Northampton. And we were going back and forth to lead the league in wide and receiving yards. Uh, and the last, it came, came down to the last game of the year and he edged me out. Yeah, I, I kind of remember watching those from the stands, Joe. I wasn't that uh, little a boy. I was not that much younger than you are, but you are older. <laughs> um, I kind of remember seeing my brother running into the end zone a lot and you kind of maybe him running past you he did you were, have a, he did have a couple the, more a couple you know, more touchdowns back. than me and he did end up going to maryland but uh, i was right behind him we were on the that, mcdonald's that, yeah. all-star game together uh but uh what what a what a turnaround here I, now i got his little brother here with me so <laughs> yeah, I, I thanks think, for joining me i think the key phrase there was you were behind him a lot <laughs> as he was running into that the end is zone. true that is okay. true so let's take a look at uh freedom high school stats for the first three uh, two games uh, what do we have here, Dan? All right, well, the, uh, the Pates are led by Matty Russin. Got 34 attempts for 230 yards, averaging about seven yards a carry. He's got three touchdowns on the year so far. That's a, that's a great start for Matty. He's more of a, a scooter. He's got some speed. He can get to the outside, and uh, he can take it the distance. Yeah, uh, Danny, he is quite the player. He's been our leader. He's a senior. Uh, started uh, both games so far. He had to come out of the first game in the second half with a with a uh, cramp, uh, but he he didn't come out at all last game, and uh, he really got the bulk of the carries. Uh, and then the other running back, Crawford, uh, what was his stats? Yeah, I saw that he uh, got a lot of carries when uh, Matty went down there a little bit. So Crawford's got 25 attempts for 152. He's averaging a little over six yards a carry, and he's got two touchdowns on the on the season so far. I talked to uh, Coach Roeder today about that and, and, and kind of asking or, or, or trying to uh, influence that maybe we could put both of them on the field at the same time. And uh, he was thinking the same thing. We, we, you know, great minds think alike. And uh, he was thinking the same thing. So don't be surprised if the two-headed monster is in the game at the same time tonight. Uh, but he did say that he would like to see Crawford get a few more carries. So, um, you know, we'll be looking forward to those two guys running the ball, running downhill. And, and when they square up and get through that hole, they get through it quick. And, and they're exciting. They're, they're two exciting backs to watch. Absolutely. They're definitely going to complement each other tonight. They'll be able to switch off and on there and uh, hopefully take it to uh, Nazareth defense tonight. And what do we have? I mean, we have we had Taylor for the first two games at quarterback, and what were his stats? Well, he was having a, a great start to the year rushing-wise. He had 10 attempts for 75 yards, one rushing touchdown. Passing was more his forte. He's got 18 completions out of 37 attempts for 327 yards and three TD passes. He was having a great year so far. I was really impressed with his composure. Uh, the way he uh, controlled the huddle, uh, the way he ran the plays, and, and uh, he had a great start to the year. Unfortunately, tonight he is ineligible, uh, so we're going to be seeing Knighting for the first time uh, in his career. He's a sophomore. Ethan Knighting will be starting at quarterback, and uh, we don't have much on him. I do know him. Uh, 6'4", he's got some weight to him. He's a big kid, uh, and boy, does he throw a nice ball. I, I saw him in the J 
JV game, and I saw him out here in pregame, and he throws a really, really nice ball. So it's exciting to see Knighting in his first game tonight, but we're certainly going to miss Taylor because he had a great start to the season. Uh, wide receiver. All right, well, our leading receiver here, A.J. Fletcher. I know he's in the top five, top close to that, maybe top six receivers in the league so far in the conference. Uh, A.J. Fletcher's got seven catches for 171 yards. He can take it the distance. He's got a little over average 25 yards a catch. That's that's uh, that's pretty impressive for a high school kid. And he's got two receiving touchdowns. A.J. Fletcher's the man. That's all I can say. He, he was my spotlight player um, last week, and he did not disappoint. Uh, he is an incredible athlete offensively and defensively. He's leading the team in tackles also. He has 12 total tackles. Uh, he plays cornerback and wide receiver. And, uh, wow, what a season he's having. And, uh, and hopefully he can keep that up. Absolutely, Joe. He's the playmaker. Some other receivers we want to take a look at. We know Owen Johnson McCormick is a go-to player also. He's got four catches, 79 yards. He's averaging over 20 yards a carry. He's got a touchdown on the season. He's only a sophomore, Dan, and I, I can't brag enough about this young man, uh, the athleticism that he has. Uh, his twin brother is very, very good also. He plays on more on the defensive end, uh, you know, and they're both exciting football players to watch uh, and, and to watch for years to come. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Owen and Kyle Johnson McCormick play on Sundays uh, uh, someday in the, in the near future. But, uh, wow, they're fun to watch. So keep an eye on him tonight. Absolutely. They are men among boys right there. All right, the next one is Jalen Fletcher. He's got two catches for 28 yards on the season. Not bad. The younger uh, younger brother, A.J. Fletcher, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, he's also there. only a sophomore. And, uh, yeah, another good player. He's uh, you know He also, as a freshman, was on our district championship basketball team and did get some playing time, a lot of playing time for us. And uh, he's something special. Uh, along with Owen and Kyle on my basketball team. both All three of those guys will be starters as sophomores uh, coming up to the basketball season. And uh, Jalen is, is a heck of a player, and that's A.J.'s brother. And he, you know, he's following right in his brother's footsteps. And we also have Quinn Hoke, who had uh, two catches for 19 yards. He's a senior, and he's, an, he's, he's, he's going to be a – he's like a sleeper. He's going to be a breakout player soon to – Either this game or next game, I'm telling you, he, he's quite a receiver too. So we have an unbelievable receiving core. Absolutely. They can all make plays. They can spread the ball around. Looking uh, really excited to see how we're going to balance rushing and passing tonight. Excited to see how the, the young man, Nighting, is going to be able to handle, the, handle tonight's, uh, tonight's game under the lights for the first time. I know Coach Roeder is going to have the young man ready to go. They're going to be prepared. Their coaching staff coach and uh, his assistants they do a great job week in and week out I know they're gonna have the young man ready to go and uh, looking forward to see what the Pates can do tonight yeah I mean that's one of the keys to the game is is the quarterback play because we're just not sure what to expect when you have a sophomore coming out and, and never started in a varsity game now he did get in varsity minutes the first two games they put him at receiver a little bit and they put him in uh, crucial times of the game uh, last week against Easton, he had a, a, a throw to him that was a big throw down the field. Uh, just got knocked away at the last minute. But for them to put him in that game at that time, it was Easton had all the momentum uh, going for them, and, and Nining was in the game at wide receiver. So they do have confidence in him, and he did fight for the starting position uh, in preseason, and it, it was not a gimme. It was not just handed to Taylor. Uh, they they went down to the last week undecided who quarterback was going to be. So I wouldn't be surprised if he comes out and doesn't miss a beat and, and we just keep keep things rolling here. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. All right, why don't we take a look at some of the uh, key players to keep an eye on tonight from the Nazareth Blue Eagles. You know their passing attack is led by senior quarterback Richard Bugby. He's got 41 attempts, or I should say 41 completions out of 64 attempts on the year. Uh, that's going for 574 yards. He's got four touchdowns through the air and zero interceptions. That's pretty impressive. Another great story. Uh, he was a kicker. He's a great kicker. Uh, he's got a couple 40-plus 40, 40 yard field goals already this year. Um, and the last, I don't know if he was a kicker for the last three years, but he certainly was last year. Uh, the kicker on the team comes out this year 
says I'm going to try out for quarterback. Uh, they had a three-man competition, and and they just kept going back to this young man, and, and they couldn't believe how good he played and, and during the in the uh, preseason. And next thing you know, he's the starting quarterback. So, uh, a great story, and uh, looking forward to seeing him play because uh, his numbers are are really top of the league. So, really excited about this young man. All right, the rushing attack. One uh, one player to keep an eye on tonight. Number 26. He's a junior. Tyler Roan. He's got 202 yards on the season with 44 attempts, almost five yards a carry, 4.6, just about five yards a carry. One touchdown on the season so far, but I can uh, big yards right there. Yeah, you know, I don't know. You know, it seems like they've been throwing the ball a lot more and beginning their their plays off of the, the passing game. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens here with uh, Freedom's defense being so good uh, in the first two weeks. This is going to be quite the matchup. And you talk about Bugby as the 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 leading passer, one of the top passers in the league. He's also, you know what, he's, he's got the legs that under him too. He's got uh, 77 yards on 14 carries, uh, three scoring, uh, three rushing touchdowns. So, you know, that's probably down close to the end zone, maybe a quarterback sneak, maybe an end around, you know, or a little quarterback keeper on a waggle or something like that. But he uh, he's showing he can he can get the ball in the end zone with his legs also. He's definitely a dual threat, uh, and Freedom's well aware of that. And, uh, you know, our defensive line has been – uh, stellar in the last two weeks and uh, we're looking forward to that again that matchup again tonight uh, and again that's one of the keys uh, to the game is the uh, the play of the uh, the offense and defensive line uh, of Freedom High School and a receiver we well, talk about Bugby and, and uh, the passing he's got he's got to be thrown it to somebody so that's going to be our senior wide receiver Jaden Cabrera number 11 he's got 305 yards on 19 catches one thing I I was kind of shocked with he's got a long of 71 a 71 yard touchdown scoring play he's got two touchdowns on the year for for a senior be going he's going 71 yards on the scoring play that's pretty impressive it's going to be explosive yeah like we talked about i think what they have three guys in the top 10 uh in the league and wide receiver and receiving correct? yeah in, yeah, in the so league right now top it's 10. not a surprise bugabee's throw, throwing the ball to these guys and they're doing a nice job so it's going to be a interesting matchup we we have great defensive backs uh our our, our four in the back is, is really good playing uh right now so we'll see how that matches up but keys to a win uh we talked about this with coach Roder and uh and we sat down with him today and we talked about keys to a win uh, penalties. We have to. We had we had 20 penalties in the first two games, uh, so that's definitely got to. Uh, we got to fix that problem, and that's you know that's one thing that Jason, uh, Coach Roder, did mention. Turnovers. We turned the ball over against Easton. It could have and should have cost us a little more than it did in that first half of the Easton game, uh, but we overcame those turnovers, and we certainly can't be turned the ball over. And control the line of scrimmage with Cherick, Kreidler, Moore, Schwind, and in, in place of Felicia. Luciano is Bergato. So those guys have got to control the, uh, the line of scrimmage.
All right. Back to the keys to a win. Uh, we talked about controlling the line of scrimmage. Uh, and when we talk about controlling the line of scrimmage, we got some veteran guys here. We also got some newcomers, uh, Kreidler and Moore and, and Schwinn. Uh, they're our veterans, and uh, you know. And then you got Bo Gardo, who's starting for Feliciano, and you got Cher uh, Frank Cherick, who who's done an unbelievable job to earn his spot. Works so hard. Uh, and so proud of that young man to, to be on the starting lineup. And he really uh, has been doing a fantastic job this year of controlling the line of scrimmage. Uh, so those guys have really did a nice job. And our last key to a win is the play of the quarterback. I mean, that's obviously going to be one of the keys because we don't know what to expect. Um, so uh, Coach Roeder is in his 16th season. He is 106 and 67. Uh, his, uh, you know, we talked about the two-headed monster with, uh, uh, with Russin and Crawford, and I, I like to say lightning and lightning because both of those guys can fly. Last week, AJ Fletcher was the spotlight player, and he certainly did not disappoint. Uh, uh, Taylor, the first two games played very steady, and we got to get that out of Nighting tonight. So let's see how this thing works out. We're ready to play some football. All right, here we go, John. They're ready. Patriots kicking off the football here, coming out of the scoreboard end of the stadium kicking off to the Blue Eagles and here we go. Gets the ball at the 12 yard line up the middle of the field. Not a good start. Oh, he has some room up to the 43 yard fumbles. Puts the ball on the carpet. And looks like they're saying he was down. No, they said that uh, he was down down at the 43 and a half yard line. Ooh, that wow, was close. that would have been a heck of a start for Freedom High School. And you know what, Joe, I was going to say, one of the keys of the game here, we're going to look for a big play on special teams. Well, Nothing they're, better they're, than getting it on the first, that could have been on the first play of the game. Yeah, Nazareth uh, likes to have big plays. That's a, that's a big part of their offense and special teams, so we got to contain them. Uh, Freedom High School does go with the three three down linemen, the 3-3 uh, uh, three, three, uh, stack. Ball, ball carrier out to the 51-yard line for Roan. Roan, that is. Defense. That was uh, John Hoke on the tackle there. Bugaby is in a shotgun position with two receivers to the near side, two to the wide side. Throw to the outside. And a first down, about a three-yard gain for a first down. Tackle nice. by name number 20, Russin. That's a great open field tackle by Russin, getting the shoulder square, coming up, wrapping up. Yeah, that's what you're going to get out of Russin. Yeah, I mean, he's a senior player. He's going to do things right. They run a stack position with their wide receivers. Instead of side by side, they run them behind. Guy in motion, two receivers to the near side. Guy in motion comes all the way across. And they throw a little screen to the outside. We look, and we get about an eight-yard gain on that play. Looked like the officials might have missed a hold on the outside there. Certainly, like Macon on the tackle there, number 33, Daniel Macon. Nice job coming up, making that play. Yeah, a little screen play. Uh, you know, it looked like they might have hooked him a little bit. We got we got four receivers to the wide side, one receiver to the near side, a quick release. Ball's up in the air, and nothing, incomplete pass. Tell you what, Blue Eagles coming out here. They're really slinging the ball around. Pate's defense playing a nice job keeping up with that. The defensive backs staying up with the receivers there. Um, tip ball, those are the ones you got to look for. Those tip yep. passes coming up there, make a big play. Third and five, going the other third and five. Way. They, they come out with the no huddle offense, which is pretty normal nowadays. Uh, they got three receivers to the far side, one receiver to the near side. The three receivers are stacked. You don't see that too often. And here they go. He releases the, the ball to the outside. Nobody's Undercut. out there. Uh, he's at the 20. He's at the 15, the 10, five. Knocked out of bounds at the mm. four yard line. There that's was just a, nobody out there. That's Danny. a tough play. Did the look like the cornerback tried to undercut that one? I don't know if there was a blown coverage on there. Maybe expecting a teammate being over the top. Safety coming up over the top. Uh, looked little like he back stepped up. Out of bounds at about the eight seven yard line. Well, yeah, they're going hustling up to the going. line of scrimmage and another quick snap. A uh, little. Nice play. Little nice play. slant. Guy came from behind, knocked it out. But man, I'll tell you what, that play, that last play where they had that big one, they ran trips to the right and they ran and they ran all three receivers one behind the other. And that is tough to defend. 
that's where you need your, your good communication. You have your, your senior leadership, your upperclassmen leadership on defense. Communication is the key there. It was a nice play. Number three, Feliciano coming up and breaking up that little slip screen. Quarterback keeper. Oh, nice defense Going nowhere. There. Nice Throws job. Him down at the 11-yard line. Nice Number job. Eight, on. John, Johnson McCormick comes up and just lays the smack down. Throws him back for a loss. That is a huge play. That takes him back for third and uh, third. All, uh, took them back to the nine-yard line. That's a great so job by Owen. Nine. Staying home, knowing his keys, reading the quarterback. He read that one all the way. Great play by Owen. We, we you know, we really needed that. Now we can put him in a third down and nine position. Twin receivers to the, to the far Set side. Another Twins screen. To another screen. A nice guy. Great nice job. Tackle. Freedom High School Great made a job. nice job of coming up and making that happen. Well, we certainly bent but didn't break on this on this drive. And it looks like they're going to go for the three. And it, the funny part about this is, Danny, uh, the quarterback stays there. And it looks like he's changing his shoe um, for the kick. That's, wow, is that something you don't see too often? No, you do not. No, you do not. And he did that pretty quickly, too. Uh, that puts it through that that rushes things there's only four seconds three seconds two seconds left on the no. that's a penalty that that should now be a penalty 26 yard field goal and he missed no it. no good pushed it right pushed it right that's a great job and by the defense holding tight holding tough that's you know a big what? play on that first series that has got to be a big deal. Him rushing to get those that sneaker that shoe off, putting on another shoe, rushing because the time the clock was uh, ticking down, uh, the play clock was down, and then it went to zero, and then it went back to nine. So I don't know if it was reset. They were rushing. Everything was rushed. Who knows what's going on around here, Danny? <laughs> All I know is we got the ball and we're going down. All right. Freedom High School, Nining's first snap of his varsity career. It's an exciting time. We got two receivers to the near side, one receiver to the far side. We got a guy in motion. Hand off to Maddie up the middle. Nothing there. Possibly right, a gain of one. Definitely one thing they're going to want to establish here the run game, get that going early, get Maddie Russin, get his legs underneath him, get the young quarterback comfortable. That was a great stop by that uh, defense. Uh, going back to that, I mean, they had all the momentum. They drove the ball right down the field, and uh, we just came up with a huge stop. That 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 loss by Johnson McCormick, that throwback, uh, that really helped. And then, uh, you know, the rushing of the uh, field goal attempt. So well, you know, we got one receiver to the far side, one receiver to the near side. We got Nining and shotgun, guy in motion. We got second and ten, hand off to Matty. Matty rushing up the middle and nothing there again. <laughs> Uh, I, I think they're gonna they're gonna st stack the box all night long, Danny. You know they're gonna they're gonna make us throw the ball. Absolutely, Coach Falzone knows what he's doing. He uh, we know you got a rookie quarterback in there. They're gonna try to run the ball, put the the weight on Matty Russin's shoulders. They're gonna make him make him prove it. So I know Coach Roder's gonna have some uh, some wrinkles in there. We'll be able to get the ball around and uh, get the ball moving down the field. We've got a big big uh, big third and nine. Third and nine seven. 53 left in the first quarter. Two receivers to the w near side. One receiver to the wide side. Nining back for his first pass. No, hand off to Matt. He's got some room. Gets through the first row. Gets about six, seven yards on that. And we're going to come up with fourth, fourth and two. There you go. That was a nice play call. I like that. A little delayed draw. Rossin had offensive line. Did a nice job getting on man, making some... Uh, Running room there for Matty. Almost, yeah, almost it, picked that one up. That that hole opened up, and I thought he had would have more room, but that closed up quick. This, this Nazareth team is certainly fast. Uh, we have back for the punt. Nice long punt. They let it go. It takes ooh. That was freedom with the gang tackle at the 32-yard line, with 7:05 left in the first quarter. That was uh, senior Dominic Feliciano, wide receiver, defensive back. And that's, that that's, a, that's a tricky play. I know uh, Joe returning punts back in the day, and I know you did that too. Hey, that one bounce there that can go either way. Then great gang tackle. Special teams playing tough early on here in the, in the first quarter. Yeah, I'm not so sure I would, I would do that at my age now, go back there and return a punt. But uh, back in the day, I was fearless, and uh, th that was a little craziness back there to, to return those punts. Uh, we're at a 3-5 and five defense, and uh, we got three receivers on the near side. Uh, Nazareth is up and running, and they hand the ball up up the middle. 
number 61 with the tackle, Moore, Braylon Moore. And I can't talk about enough about this guy. We, we got some really good sophomore players on the field. Braylon Moore is just one of those guys. He started as a freshman, Danny, and uh, his brother is now at West Virginia uh, Virginia, playing there. I think he's actually at Virginia Tech, Joe. That, yeah, that's true. Well, he's got some good bloodlines there. Another good run nice up the middle here. Up the middle. All right, good up. Come. It looks like he got got enough for the first down on that. We'll be moving the chains. Last year, Nazareth uh, won the, the District 11 uh, championship game. I watched that game versus Parkland. They went for two and won the game. They got this double uh, twin receivers to the right, twin receivers to the left, a little down and out. Nice open field tackle there. Nice open. That's A.J. Fletcher making plays both sides of the ball. And you'll see that all night long for Fletcher. Uh, but this stack seems to be bothering Freedom, although they only gave two yards there. But uh, they now got trips. Trips to the right, single receiver to the left. Another screen. Okay, got a five yards there. Another nice tackle by number 55. That's Marcus Kreiler. That's a great job coming down from a, a down lineman position, interior, reading the play. Oh, we got a, we got an injured player down on the field. We got an injured uh, Blue Eagle. Yeah, last year, Danny, uh, in the playoffs, uh, Nazareth beat Easton in the district semifinals 20-12, to 12, then went on to the 6A District 11 championship uh, and beat Parkland 22-21 to 21 in an epic overtime unbelievable play in in the overtime to go for two uh they flipped the ball to a the wide receiver the wide receiver came around and threw the ball to the back of the end zone for a two-point conversion to win that game 22 21 uh i remember watching that danny and that was quite the game and what a way to end it and what a way to win a district championship that was almost like a little Take a play out of the Eagles playbook there. I know that got you excited. Seeing a little yeah. play it was a little Philly maybe call that the uh, the Blue Eagles special on they, that one, yeah, maybe. Yeah, they must have. And, and and Freedom came up short last year. They played Parkland in the semifinals and uh, came up a little short. I remember that game as well. We had the we had the ball on the two yard line and the clock and the time ran out. Uh, we would have went in for the tie uh, with that touchdown. We have Another uh, interesting formation on yep. that one. We got quads out here to the left. Another screen. Another screen. These guys seem to be blocking before the ball. I'll tell you what, our defense is playing stout right now. That's AJ yep. Fletcher again, fighting through a block, coming up, making an open field tackle. Great job. That makes it fourth down and five, and I'm sure they're going to punt on that. But uh, yeah, they're certainly not surprising freedom with these screens. Um, and we just got to watch for uh, the long pass with uh, the fake screen and then somebody going over top. We just right. got to be fully aware of that because that is coming. There's no right. doubt they're setting us up for that. We got Fletcher and Hoke back to receive the punt here for the Pates. Nice punt. Punt takes a bounce at the 20. Five yard line lets it roll again. That's what we talked about, Danny. You just can't let that roll there. You got to go up and make a fair catch on those. You have to, and, and, and you know that that just can't happen. Well, it was a nice punt by the punter there for Nazareth. I'm not sure who that was. Is that the uh, is that the quarterback does the kicking and punting also? I, I, think, I, I didn't catch a number on that one. We'll, I don't we'll know take about on that. that. I, I know one thing. We had a kicker last year, Nick Standard. Uh, and he is now at Muhlenberg College waiting to play football there. Uh, but, boy, remember his leg. Absolutely. What? Number five. five. We're, okay. We got four, uh, 457 left in the first quarter. First and 10, score 0-0. Zero, zero. We got a wide receiver to the near side. Man on man singled up. And we give the ball to Russin up the middle. And again, nothing there. Nazareth's even, defense is just swarming. Even went with the lead blocker on that one, try to kick it out to the outside, and uh, they stuffed that one again. Talking about past Freedom High School players, Vince Rep also a wide receiver. Hamilton College in New York, he's playing there. Gabe Caton went to Lehigh, he was a wide receiver. Judah Rock went to Millersville. Caden uh, Moore, we talked about, went to Virginia Tech. And Jarrett Jenkins went to Millersville. Now, Millersville's not playing, but he's definitely there. We got two receivers here to the near side, one receiver to the far side. 
knighting in shotgun, waiting for his first throw of the game. And he hands it off to Matty. He's got a little room there for about a four-yard game. Nice job blocking on that one. Get him out to the outside. Give him a little crease. That's all he's going to need. He's a scoot back. He's, he's got the wheels. He's got a little bit of shake in there. You give him a little bit of a crease, he's going to pick up some yards for you. Yeah, we didn't see Crawford yet, but uh, I'm assuming we're going to see him, uh, you know, at some point in the first half. We'll get it, get him running too. When you guys, when you get both of these guys lightning and lightning running the ball, uh, good things happen. Uh, and then both of them stay fresh. We're at third and five with 3:46 left in the first quarter, and Knighting has yet to throw the ball. Well, maybe we we'll see it here. Maybe a little screen. Gonna have to get. Gonna have to let the young man try to throw it. Twins to the far side. Twins to the near side. Matty Russin behind him. Here he go. He runs a little draw. He's got a little room there. Okay. Well, looks like he got a yeah, first down on that. Give him a good spot here. I don't know. We'll see. That he is should a have it. good idea for, uh, for a quarterback uh, that is getting his first start. Oh, they didn't get it. Wow. I, I, I'd like to see a replay on that spot. I thought he definitely had that one. Yeah, that, that definitely looked like he leaned forward and got that. That's a shame. But that's a good play. I mean, it, you want to get your run, your quarterback settled in, and one way to do that is let him get hit, let him run up the middle on that. That's a, that's a smart play. They're, they are playing very smart and conservative, and uh, we're going to eventually have to open it up. Okay, fair catch at the 42-yard line. That's a nice punt by George Ferry. That was nice. Get it all the way out to and, the opposing 42-yard line. And Nazareth line. Cabrera makes the fair catch. Two minutes and 51 seconds left in the first quarter. Nazareth right. coming to the ball. And, hey, this is a game. This is a great game. We, we you know, we, we didn't settle in at first, that first drive, but it seemed like we really settled in. Uh, Danny, I'm afraid of them going up top. I hope we have that covered because we're certainly sniffing out these screens. I'll tell you what, I was impressed by the, the young quarterback on that run. He didn't, he didn't shy away from it, stuck his, his nose in there, put the head down, almost picked up that first down. Fumble. Balls out. Balls on balls the floor. Out. Balls on the floor. <sighs> no. Two Freedom guys went for it, and it bounced right out of bounds. Jason really has the defense fired up tonight. They are flying around the ball. They are gang tackling. They are putting hat on hat. They are going after that ball. That was a great hit, popping that ball out there. Yeah, so Lob came around. He had a nice little game, but just uh, the ball just leaked out. Can't let that ball down. I mean, turnovers are going to be huge in this game. Again, Absolutely. Nazareth with the no huddle. We got three receivers to the far side, one receiver to the near side. Shotgun position. Handoff up the middle. A little cutback. Quiatek. That was uh, number nine. Quiatek with the and run. Braylon Moore coming up on the on the tackle on that one. Nice job from the defensive end, down lineman position, playing on the end there. Made a great job reading that. The little delayed handoff, nice tackle. Third down and 11, two minutes and 21 seconds left. We got two receivers to the far side, two receivers stacked on They're the near side. They're running that stack, but they like that. And stacked down here on the, on the near side it, also. It worked early, but I don't know. Here they go. They're opening it up. He's got uh, a guy open. Oh, <laughs> no. Gets the 15, the 10, walks it in for a touchdown. We had a defensive player there, but he just did not make the play. He's got to be aggressive to the ball and go and knock that down, and he just didn't do that. Well, I think he tried to go through the man and uh, kind of bounced off, and that's a, that's a tough play. And I think that was uh, 22, Jalen Fletcher. He came up there, made the hit, and just didn't wrap it up. That's a tough play. Yeah, that's, that's uh, you know, being a sophomore, not coming up and making that play. And here comes uh, uh, Puckabee switching his cleats. Going with the this, I had never seen that before no. in all the years of football. And... Uh, Hey, hey, if we can, if he can do it, it's pretty neat. So with two minutes left in the first quarter, Nazareth gets on the board first with a post pattern, and the kick is good. Mm. So we have a score there. of nice seven. Nice job by the holder, getting that up, and seven nothing. <laughs> yeah, Danny, what they're doing is they're stacking those two receivers on both sides, and <clears throat> and I don't know if we're we're playing a zone on that or a man. But the one guy, the first guy from the far side ran a flag pattern and the other guy ran a post pattern. So it was he was going to have one of those two guys open, he felt anyway, and released the ball at a perfect time. And, and Bugaby, again, is just really impressing me as a, as a quarterback. He throws a nice ball. That was a great pass. That was right on the money. Receiver ran a nice pattern. It, it's going to happen. We knew he was going to try to go deep. They're getting the screens. They're working it, working. They're setting it up. 
But it's, defense is playing tough. It, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be a tough game. Freedom's gonna come back here. We we know that Jason's gonna get the offensive going. We're gonna, yeah, it's, early, it's early. We gotta yep. we gotta hang in there. Offensive coordinator Ben Rep does a great job, uh, and he'll, he has a great great game plan for tonight. And I'm sure we're gonna be fine. We're gonna start throwing the ball around and uh, get Nighting ready to go. Uh, the rest of the games we play next week on Saturday on the 24th. We play Betham Catholic at 3 p.m. Uh, and and on my side that night is going to be uh, Coach Puxin from Moravian College. He's going to be in the booth with me on Saturday afternoon for Betham Catholic. So hopefully all of you can join us again on Saturday. Here's the kick. Ball. We have no, a we got flag, a flag on first the play. flag of the night. Probably a little offsides. That is true. That is the first flag of the night. We must have an offsides on Nazareth. And then uh, then we finish up with on Saturday on the 31st. We play at 1 o'clock. We have Liberty. And that's always, you can throw the records out for that game because, uh, you know, that's always a tough game for, for everybody. Uh, and uh, it's always a fun game, but uh, the records certainly don't come into play when it comes to that game. Speaking of the records, you got Nazareth at 3-0 and in our division. You got Freedom at 2-0. and You got Easton at 1-1. and Bethlehem Catholic at 1-1. One and one. You got Northampton at 0-2 and, and Liberty at 0-2. That's our division, Danny. There's the kick. Wow, that was a much better kick. He gets the ball at the five-yard line, takes it out. He's at the 10. He's at the 15. He's at the 20. He's Great got a cut, little room at the 30. Nice he comes job. out to the 33-yard line. Great cut by Matty Russ, and he can get it up there, put the foot down, make that cut, making a guy miss. That's a great return up pass over to the 30-yard line. Hey, Danny, at halftime, what I want to do is I want to go through the rest of the teams that are playing uh, tonight or tomorrow night, and uh, you and I are going to do some picks. Absolutely. I was hoping we were going to be able to get, to get that done tonight. Yes. And then the winner of that is going to get a pizza pie <laughs> from Bruno's. <laughs> from Bruno's. Okay, you're buying. We have a far, uh, receiver on the far side, receiver on the wide side. Handoff up the middle. A little nice little spin, gets back to the line of scrimmage, made a gain about three yards. There, now to tell you what, Nazareth is still blocking up there. They are filling the box. Yeah, he uh, he did he did all that himself. Um, but yeah, Danny, we're gonna do some picks, and uh, and actually that is gonna be sponsored by Diley Construction. They're gonna buy the pizza, and the winner will have that. So thank you to uh, Diley Construction. They're gonna sponsor that that event. We have a twins to the far side, twins to the near side, wide receiver. Uh, set up and we have Nining in the back. He's going to throw the ball here for the first time. Nice little throw out to Hoke. Hoke makes a nice move Good to job. the outside. And, Very and nice. There, there, that's what you need. A little pitch and catch there. Nothing too crazy. Give him a nice easy controlled throw. Hoke makes a great catch. Nice spin move. Gets some extra yards. We got a first down. And listen, that's all we've been doing. That's all we've been doing with Taylor. Let him throw it out to our, out, out there to our playmakers. We've got unbelievable wide receivers and, and just throw it out there to them. We Let them make the play. Quarterbacks hanging in there. He's doing a great job. <laughs> Hand off to Matty. Nothing there. Oh, my. They're, they got a tough defensive line. They are really. You want to talk about one of our keys, controlling the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job of, of controlling the line of scrimmage. Now, granted, they are loading the box, Danny. They are just attempting us to throw the ball. And uh, we're going to have some time here to throw the ball up top. I, I know it's going to come. Yeah, once the young man gets a little more comfortable in there, he that nice first throw get him more opportunities to get the ball maybe a little bit down the field screen pass coming across keep mixing it up get the run they, they want to establish the run going on Matty Russin okay we got twins now uh, coach Rota really gets frustrated with this when we have guys sit, set up out of position uh nighting in the back he hands the ball off to Matty Matty makes a little cut up the middle nothing there again maybe a three yard gain with 22 seconds left, I think they'll let it run out and let's uh, let's regroup here for the second quarter. Now we keep saying if that defensive line, they're reading their keys, they're playing nose up football, they're playing tough right now. There was a little quarterback read it looked like, reading the defensive end coming on off the left side. Elected to go with Russell up the middle. Matty tried to make a little cut. We get uh, about two yards on that carry. And, and that's, that's the quarter. We got a score of Nazareth 7, Freedom 0. Well, Joe, if you don't mind, I'd like to, at the end of the quarter here, I'd like to give a shout out to my daughter Melina and her friend Sophie. I know they're at home watching the football game here, cheering on the Patriots. Yeah, that's great when we get the little ones watching. I got my son Brody and uh, his flag football team. 
uh, at home watching the game also on YouTube TV. Uh, so, uh, you know, that, and, and that, that team, my son's flag football team, they are the team of the future, Danny. I'll tell you what, we are throwing the ball around. We are undefeated. We got a game tomorrow. Uh-oh, uh, what time's that game? That game's at 10 a.m. at uh, Shrin. And uh, they are, we, we got quite the, uh, quite the team. So we're, we're looking forward to that. We play the Chargers tomorrow. You got the Chargers. Okay, all right. Coming yeah. in from uh, San Diego? Yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, wow. yes. Okay, wow. They're trying. That's flag football leagues out of control. All right. We got Allen versus Whitehall at Whitehall. We got Parkland at Deer. We got Liberty at Northampton. Pocono Mountain West at Pleasant Valley. Emmaus at Central Catholic. Easton at Bethlehem Catholic. And Stroudsburg at East Stroudsburg South. That's coming up at halftime. Die League contractors will be sponsoring that at halftime here we go we got twins to the right twins to the left nining backing up nice little play here he gets on the run throws the ball nice throw that was a great job showing great composure throw. there lorenzo feliciano tight end comes out makes a really nice play catch nice throw on the run absolutely number 13 getting out there Ethan Knighting showing great composure. He did a great pocket. job of getting out of that out of trouble there. Absolutely, pocket, pocket breaks down, goes rolls out to the left. That's a tough, tough throw there on the run. Puts it on the numbers. Great, great Danny, throw, great what catch. He, what he needs to do on that uh, when he's rolling out to his left, he did it perfect. He he squared up his shoulders. He started to come downhill and then throw the ball. You cannot be throwing the ball when you're running sideline to sideline. So he eventually turned that corner, came downhill, and did a great job. Absolutely. All right, taking a timeout here. Getting it under control. We've got, what do we got? Fourth down and two, looks like. Well, we're kind of in that in that position here, Joe, where you, you make that call. Do you want to go for it early in the game? Do you want to do you want to try to punt it, pin them deep? Wow, their 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 defense has been playing so well. I, this is a big decision by Coach Roder. Do you want to give them the ball back here? I, honestly, Danny, I, I would punt it here. Uh, we've been they their their defensive line has really been getting in there. I mean. Um, We'll see what happens here, but Coach Roeder does like to take these types of risks. He trusts his team, he trusts his defense, but in this situation here, with Nazareth having all the momentum, I, I would punt it away, put them deep, and then let's regroup again. Uh, you know, it'd be it'd be very difficult to come back after a, a, four, a fourth down and not getting it. So they are going to go for it, and that's it's why like I'm up here, and they're down there getting paid the big bucks, Danny. <laughs> so well, here let's we see go. What, see what they draw. Maybe they're going to... You go a hard count, try to draw them off. You get that. You take the timeout. Maybe punt it. We'll see what they we'll see. We'll see what they drew. You up got there. Owen in the backfield, number eight, and you got Russell behind him, and you got Knighting behind him. Maybe you have Johnson McCormick lead lead blocking for Maddie. Maybe hand the ball off to Maddie. Yeah, they called a timeout on that. They're gonna. I think they're gonna rethink this here. I think they're gonna punt away, Dan, Danny. I really don't. Looks like we had a little confusion there in the backfield as far as where we wanted to line up. Players were looking over to the sidelines. Um, That's one thing that you knew was going to happen. I mean, we got some, we got a new quarterback in. We got some newcomers here, and you you, you know that's going to happen. But that really frustrates uh, Coach Roeder. We've seen him frustrated at times, and uh, that certainly is one thing that really frustrates him. But I think now uh, they're going to come back and punt the ball. Yeah, I, One, I, yeah, there you go. The punter's running yeah, back. I, I know I, that's the other thing. They didn't want to burn that second time out here early in the second quarter. Hopefully that doesn't come back. I really on. don't think they were going to go for it there, Danny. I think this is the, the right decision here. Um, I, I just think you don't give them the ball here after the first, you know, the first drive they had. They didn't, you know, we stopped them. They missed a field goal and then that, that other long pass. I think you make them earn it and you, you, you punt it down deep. They're going to get the ball uh, around the 15 or the 20 and, and, and then make a stop from there. But I think this is the right decision. Oh, nice, nice high punt, punt by Ferry. Fair driving him back the and ten yard line inside of 10. That's hey, what ten. else could you ask for on that? That's a great job. Time for the defense to step up here. That's what you want. You get you get a punt there. You get a, you call a second timeout. Not really wanting to do that. Kicker steps up. You got senior George Fury. Great punt, pinning him down inside the ten yard line, about an eight and a half yard line. Now it's time for the defense to step up here. Here's where you look for your turnover. You look for maybe a sack, something coming up here. You're looking for a big play. I think that's the right thing to do. There was no doubt. Um, you know, you know, puts the ball on the eight yard line. You know, and. 
it, we just got, you know, we take the momentum away from there on this, on this series right here. So I think it was a good move. You got twins to the far side, twins to the near side. Bug be on the backfield. I think Roan, Roan is next to him. He's going to throw the ball, a little hitch, hitch and go. There it is. He got him covered pretty nicely. Nice job by Fletcher yep. on that coverage. He didn't bite on the on the first initial pump on that one. We, you were calling that earlier in the in the game, Joe. You got the the setting up the little screen, yeah, the little there, hitch pattern, hitch pattern, hitch and go. Defense read it. They played it well. They were setting that setting that up for a while, Danny, and I knew it was coming, and so did Freedom. So um, number 22, uh, I think that's the Fletcher. Yep, that's Jalen Fletcher. Did a nice job on that. Um, uh, really, I mean, that was well covered. He did not bite on that on that hitch at all. We got three receivers to the wide side, one receiver to the near side. Bugaby in the shotgun position, hand the ball up the middle. Nothing there. These teams are really doing a nice job. Defensive line, both these teams. There is just no room to run the ball up the middle. Who do you give that tackle to? I think I give that one to the whole interior line. Maybe I got 75 coming up late that's on that Schwindy. one. That's Schwind. There you go. We'll give that one to Jake. Great job. We got trips trips to the wide side, single receiver to the near side. He rolls out to the, the, the wide side, sees a guy down the field, throws it up. We might have an ooh, might have had an interception there again. Well covered, <laughs> nothing open on that play, and it looked like Huggabee was just throwing the ball up, which could have been, uh, you know, uh, that turnover that we're looking for. He he were, certainly turned the uh, just threw that ball up, and he was well covered. We got fourth and nine with 10 minutes and 28 seconds left in the game. We got Nazareth seven, Freedom High School zero. Nazareth punting the ball, and it was, and again, it shows that it was the right thing to do. We're going to get the ball uh, probably in, in better position than we had when we when we had the ball uh, before we punted. So I think it was definitely the right thing to do here. And a bad punt. Yes, we're going to have the ball inside the 30. Absolutely. That's it, and there you go. Special teams making a key play there. Got some pressure up the middle on the punter. Maybe a little panic. Kind of shanked it off the side of the foot. Patriots getting the ball first and 10 at the, what are we giving it to, 26 yard line? Danny, it, you know, it kind of humors me when you see these officials walking up the line and they, they're pointing up and, and they're just walking. And I don't know what they're doing or where they're looking or where they are spotting that ball. I saw no, it in the NFL the other day. It's all day, about the know. angles, Joe. Yeah, the angles down the sideline, they're, they're watching it. They, they doing, got it. We got trips to the near, trips to the uh, far side, Nighting in the backfield, Russin next to him. Steps back, nice throw Taking down a shot field. At the end He's zone. got a guy. Oh, a little missed thrown. Hoke was open on that, and I and it was thrown behind him. Uh, he was definitely open on that, Danny. Yes, he was. He had two receivers down there. I'm not really sure if they should have been in that same area, a little bit too close together. But that was a nice ball. Put it up there. It just, I don't know if the wind took it or what, but it, it kind of went behind him. But that's that, that Hulk was definitely open on that play. That's where you're looking for your, your receiver to go up, high point that ball, go up and get it, take it away from the center. But here we go. That's yeah. twins, young... to the, twins to the far side, wide, one wide receiver to the near side. Matty Russin next to Knighting. Hand off to Russin up the middle. And again, just nothing there. Number 21 comes from the outside in, and that was – 25 on the run. Looks so like we had uh, Capi, so Capi Bianco on the tackle. That was Crawford on the run. That was Crawford is in the game. So this is his first series that he's in the game. And, uh, you know, there was just, again, just nothing there. Whether it's Matty Russin or Crawford, there's just nothing up the middle. We got twins to the right. Single receiver down here to the near side with Hoke. And it looks like all they're playing is man-to-man -man loading the box. That's all they're doing. Hoke in, in motion. I'd love to see a screen. All right, got Hoke open. Break a little tackle. Okay. Great pass, great Gets catch. Yeah. Tell you what, the young man is really, really stepping into, to, into tonight, getting his number called, making some throws here. That was a great throw, great catch, All pulling right. that one down. Had a little little smoke on that one, a little, little something behind that throw, Joe. He has a good arm. There's no doubt, uh, you know, and, and some people were even saying he has a better arm than Taylor. He's got the arm, and he's got it. He's got the strength. You know, he's just inexperienced. He's a sophomore. You he's know? young, it, but he's got yeah. some size. What, yep. 6'3", 180, nice size for a sophomore. Yeah, and that's why they put him at wide receiver. Crawford's still in the backfield. We got single receiver out here. Hoke, one-on-one. -on -one. I'd love to see a little throw up to that. Uh, you'll eventually see a little handoff to Crawford. Got a little room there. Comes up the middle. 
Hold on to that ball. Still got his. Still fighting. Yeah, he. He's a competitor. He's always got his his feet going, and and this is nice when they do this and they give Manny a little rest because Manny Russin is going both ways. Give him a little rest. Get Crawford in there, and you're not missing anything. You're really not. You got second and five, and Crawford is is doing a really nice job out there. Yeah, he is a junior five five eight, one seventy five. He's got a little burst there. You can see he's got burst and little strength, good leg strength in there, fighting through those tackles. Second and five, ball and eleven. Quarterback keeper. Quarterback keeper up the middle. All right. Nice, nice play. run. Way to put the shoulder in there, finish off that run. Good job. Tell you what, Joe, I'm really impressed with Ethan tonight. He is really playing a great game so far. Just stay within himself. Stay stay heady. Yeah. Don't, don't try to win the game yourself. Let let your upperclassmen. Another first down. First and uh first down and six. Seven minutes and fifty-two seconds left in the first half. And Nighting is controlling the huddle. He's doing things right. We got Crawford in the backfield. We got, we got that bunch set Johnson up again. This is what they were in the backfield. Look at they were trying to do this on that fourth down here. Let's see what this play looks all about. Johnson McCormick's going to be the lead blocker. <laughs> and it looks like a false start here on the offense. Yep, false start on freedom. This is, you know, that was one of the keys. We had 20 penalties in the first two games, and that was one of the keys to the game. And you know what, Joe? That, eliminating that's the penalties. That's rare for uh, a Jason Roeder coach team with penalties this, this year, having that many penalties. Yeah, and, you know, without a preseason, I mean, it's ex expected, but, uh, you know, but it's expected for all teams that are coming out without a preseason. So we just got to clean that up, and we're going to be fine. Uh, we got first down and 11, 720 left. We got trips to the wide side. Crawford in the backfield, picks up the blitz. Nighting puts his head down and puts uh, gets a couple yards. A couple nice job yards. picking up that blitz. Good job pulling it down, not trying to throw it up, trying to force anything in there. Receivers recovered, get a couple yards. What I would like to see on that blitz, I'd like to see Crawford kind of step up more to the line of scrimmage and catch that blitz a little sooner because he really he caught the blitz, he did, he, but it was so deep in the backfield that Nining had to react. If you catch that blitz up closer to the line of scrimmage or a year, uh, one yard behind the line of scrimmage, you're going to let Nining do his thing back there, and, and the blitz is not going to be as effective. So I'd like to see that uh, in these next couple blitzes here. We got a guy in motion. Hand off to Crawford, got a little step on him, and look at just look at his legs. Never right, stop. Give him forward progress up there at the five yard line. Third and five. Third and five. So here's where you go, a little bunch out to the to the wide side. Give him give him that room. Give the give him the room to, to, to roll him out there. They're gonna do a fade pattern to Johnson McCormick. They, 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 they this kid, this young man is an athlete. And uh uh, Owen can really get up and snag the ball out of the air. I'd, I'd love to see that, but uh, and he's out here to his uh, out here to the uh, to the near side. I wouldn't be surprised if they just flick it up to him and let him go to work. We got one on one coverage here down on on Owen down on the near side. Johnson McCormick Looking comes across. Run him out. Nice little throw. Oh, intercepted at the and runs it out to the twelve yard line. Picked off by Koyatek. The, the ball was overthrown. I thought he had Johnson McCormick on that coming across, yeah, but uh, yeah. the ball was just floated on him a yeah, little, a little bit. bit. He was kind of back pedal and back pedal, get some pressure up in his face. Maybe threw that one yeah, off the back foot a little bit. It kind of sailed foot. on it. He was definitely little... on his back foot on that. The ball floated on him, and uh, you know, and Nazareth made a play. And, well, uh, you get a lot of numbers, a lot of. A lot of crowd over there in that corner of the end zone at number nine. We got to come away with something. I, that's why I would nice like play. to see just a you know a little a little fade pattern over here to Johnson McCormick with that one on one coverage rather than making uh, Nighting throw it into the traffic there. I would just love to see a little uh, you know with, with, with just throw it up to the outside here. I would have loved to see that, but uh, that's all right. We'll get it back. It's yeah. uh, second and five with 5:23 left in the in the first half. We got a score of seven to nothing. And we got uh, trips receivers to the wide side. No, uh, twin receivers to the wide side. And we twin. got number 11 coming in motion here. Number 11, that is Jaden Cabrera. A pass out to Cabrera. And again, defensive backs coming up, making a big stick. Yep. Enough for the first down, though. That hitch, it's only a three-yard hitch, Danny. But that quarterback threw it about 30 yards. Because where that, that receiver was way out 
uh, near the near side here, near out of bounds. And that's a long throw. Those are, those are pick six territory right there. You gotta watch yourself with those long throws. We got trips to the wide side, single receiver to the near side. Bugabe in shotgun position. Hand off up the middle. Breaks one tackle, gets about three yards. Uh, Quia Tech up the middle. Defense coming up, making a nice play there, holding that gain to only about two yards. I'll tell you what, going back to that that interception throw there. I'm not I like that. I like the play call. Coach has shown confidence in the young quarterback. He's got a he's got to sense that feel good. Hey, coaches, no, I, we're not just going to run the ball, run the ball. They're they're Three confident in me to to make that Three throw. Three receivers. He's rolling out to the left, releases the ball and low, incomplete. Yeah, that one came up a little bit short there, kind of bounced it out to the receiver, but incomplete pass. We got third and coming up third and eight, third and seven. Four minutes left until half. We get a stop here. We're going to get the ball back, and you know what? We can put some points on the board before half. We're going to be in good shape. Uh, we got trips. Nazareth does a nice job of not huddling. They get all their plays right from the sideline. We got twins to the left. Twins to the wide side, single receiver to the near side. Bugabee in shotgun position, steps back, launches the ball out there after a little down and out. That's all that was. He, Man, that was a long throw. Yeah, the coverage was just not there. Uh, he was there, but pretty fell well behind him. I don't know if they, they're a little intimidated by the long ball, but, uh, you know, he had some room on that. And all that was, it was a little down and out. We got uh, twin receivers to the near side, and here we go. No huddle. Up to the line of scrimmage. We got a stack position. Handoff. No, another screen. Another Imagine screen that. Out to the outside. Nice Good. job. Swarm tackle. Great job Swarm coming up on that one. I'll tell you what, that quarterback, that was a nice throw. That you're long across from one hash all the way to the other side. Nice timing pattern. Receiver. Yeah, he's made been the doing that there. all night long. He's been making those long throws. They're not a lot of yards, but but they're far throws. And and, and defensively, we're, we're gonna get one of those. Here we come with a blitz. Again, the far throw, oh, balls, balls in the air. air. Ooh, that's a great, great play about a defense there. A.J. Fletcher coming up, making a big stick. Third down and nine with 321 left in the first half. Here's the key with defense. Third downs, long third downs. You got to get off the field. You got to make them punt here. Need a big play here on defense, get some quarterback pressure. Defensive backs come up, make a play. Haven't gotten much out of our linebackers tonight, Joe. We get them up the middle, get a little pressure up the middle, maybe. Well, we just had a blitz there and made him throw the ball a little sooner than he might have wanted to. Let's see. We got another blitz coming here. Throwing deep. He's got a guy open. Oh, down to the 20-yard line. He was wide open. If he keeps his feet, he walks into the end zone. That's, A.J. Uh, Fletcher was way behind him. Uh, number that's 11. That's Jaden Cabrera making Cabrera, another senior. I mean, Danny, he was just open. He and here they go open. again. They rush up to the line early, of scrimmage. Hurry up offense. Hand off early the move. Middle. Yep. Their linemen weren't set. They moved early. Take them back. All right, now defense got to catch your no, breath here. We have, a, we have something defensively here. Oh, offsides against Freedom. But Five yard penalty. So now the ball's on the 15 yard line with first and 10 with three minutes left in the half. We got twin receiver to the near side, single receiver to the wide side. Bugabe in the back, hands the ball up the middle, and he's got himself a hole. Gets a first down and more. That's Quiatek again up the middle. He put his head down there and really punished that tackler coming up. And they got the ball at the eight yard line. Here they go. First down, line first of scrimmage. And goal. Uh, we're we're switching guys in Defense. and out. And we, another and penalty. We're, get, we're not getting guys off the field. We're trying to change the package. We're trying to get players in and out here, switch guys. I understand that defense is that some guys are going to be a little tired out there, but they're going to hurry up offense. That's that's not going to happen, especially all the way down inside you, you the red just, zone. You can't make changes at, at this point when they're hustling up to the line of scrimmage of that. I, that's a great – it's a good game plan on Nazareth's part. We just got to make adjustments. We're one of the better teams at making adjustments at halftime, and, and we'll, we'll do that. We got twins to the near side, single receiver to the wide side. Bugabee in the backfield with – Quiatek, it looks like a handoff up the middle. And Number nine, Quiatek spins and gets to about the one yard short. line. 
Second and goal with two minutes and 17 seconds left. And again, they're right up to the line of scrimmage. And Freedom seems to be walking up to the line of scrimmage. They get, they've they got a hustle. And a quarterback, quarterback keeper. Oh, oh, get on that ball. Uh, he, passed the, he passed the end zone. They got some, some, a touchdown. And that's I would a dangerous not, move. That, by young, jumping would, up in the air like that, taking a, taking a free shot, taking a big hit there. I, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would not suggest making a leap like that into the end zone. If you're going to do that, you got to dive head first. I would not leave my feet like that. And it's just going to get him hurt. And he's, he's playing got, such a great game right now. All right, so here we go. There's Hugga Beach switching that shoe. Now for the extra point. We got a score of 13 nothing, with two minutes and seven seconds left in the half. We just got to get the team, to get the Patriots settled down here. Get the kickoff, get a nice return. Special teams Up. almost blocked that extra point. And good. That we got good. a score of 14 to nothing. So here's where you got to you got to regroup here. You got to you need a big return. Set up the offense. Keep the keep the running back moving. Keep Rossin moving with the ball. Keep the young quarterback in that, the game here, making some short throws. Get back to the short throws. Let yeah, your receivers I mean, get make that, some yards for that you. That interception obviously just just killed us. Um, we couldn't get you know. Again, I'd like to see a little you know, nothing across the middle in that situation. But you know, we made it. You know, he's a young quarterback. It, it floated on him, and and, and you know. And he's just got to learn from that. But uh, we got two minutes left, and if we come down and put some points on the board, we certainly can do that in a hurry. We did it last week against Easton. The score was 10 to nothing. At, uh, right before the half, Danny, we get the ball back, and we drive right down the field and put up a touchdown. And speaking of, uh, of throwing the ball up to, to Johnson McCormick, we did that right in the, uh, right at halftime last week and, and walked in the, the – the, uh, uh, locker room with all the momentum, and that really changed the game. So hopefully we can do the same here. Let's get something going. Like I said, with two minutes left, here's where you want to get an offensive drive together, get some points on the board, and that kick goes into the end zone. Nice leg on the young man there, number five. That is That's Bugaby. Bugaby. He's also he the kicker. It all. <laughs> and kicks yeah, off he's, quarterback, he's got extra himself points. quite the leg. He's got himself quite the arm. He's doing it all for Nazareth right now. All right, here's where you want to see the Patriots put a drive together, get some points on the board. They're getting the opening kickoff of the second half. You kind of put those two drives together, you get right back into this game. Ball in the 20 with two minutes left, first down and 10. You also don't want to take too many chances. We get the ball at halftime, maybe see what happens on first and second down, see if you want to open this up. You certainly cannot have a turnover here, Danny. Absolutely, that's what you definitely want to avoid here. So keep it. Get back to that short passing game. Maybe throw some screens in there. Maybe a, a, a quick hitch with the receiver. Maybe you'd like to see Russell out of the backfield. Maybe the pass to Russell out of the backfield. Get him some some space. Fake handoff. We got Nining up the middle. Eh, gain of about six yards. Nice little first down play. <clears throat> he's not afraid to stick his nose in there, Joe. No, he like we talked about before. He's a big kid. He's uh, six three. He's one seventy five, uh, and uh, he is putting his head down and running hard. So. Maybe we see a little more of that in the second half, him helping us with his legs, because they're certainly uh, keying Matty Russin. Uh, he has not broken one loose yet, um, and, and they're doing a nice job of, uh, of watching him. So we got one receiver down here to the wide side. We That's got a, Hoke. Hoke down here near side. We got a bunch in the backfield. A handoff to Matty up the middle. We've got a little room there. Gets the ball out the to nice, the 34-yard nice right line. Down. A minute and 22 seconds left, and the clock is running. A minute 20, first and 10 on the ball on the 33-yard line. Like I said before, Joe, all Matty needs is just a little crease in there. He's got that quick burst. You see it right there, 10 yards, first down. Him and Crawford both, lightning and lightning, they hit those holes so quick. You know, tonight, there, you know, we, we got to do a better job at halftime and making adjustments and getting some holes, but maybe we need to, to do a little more uh, of guys in the backfield helping block. Um, but here comes Johnson McCormick out here to the near side. They, it looks like Nazareth's going to blitz on this. He's yeah, got some time, back. and there he goes, throws the ball across the oh. middle. Now that one should have been caught. That was a good throw. Hmm. No, that, was, really. uh, that was attended for Feliciano, uh, number three, across the middle, and I thought that was nicely thrown. That was in his hands. That, that one should have been caught by Feliciano. Now we got a second down and 10 with 42 seconds left. Maybe a little bit of a late hit, and I'm just a roughness after that when the ball was kind of out of there, off his hands, and the Nazareth defensive back came up, laid a, laid a good lick on him. I know yeah, the coaches was, weren't I, real happy about that non-flag on that I was thinking the one. same thing on that, Danny. 
Um, Nazareth runs a very similar defense to Freedom. They run three guy, three down linemen. Now they're, they got about five down linemen now because it looks like they're going to bring a blitz. Uh, hand off to Matty Russin up the middle, and just nothing there, nothing at all. Now we got a third and ten with 30 seconds left. Clock is ticking. And it looks like nobody's going to call a timeout here, yeah. and this might take us into the half. That was a big tackle there, number 50, Levi LaRoche sure Shell noticed. Senior, 6'1", 258 at the big boy right up the Not middle. I'm sure if you noticed, Danny, when you walked in, we got ourselves a big tent over there. Uh, that tent is used for uh, the Nazareth team to use that as a locker room, and then Freedom High School goes under the bleachers, so both teams will be in open air. Uh, and that's why they do what they do. So, hey, Freedom's got to regroup. We get the ball at halftime. I wouldn't be surprised if we make some adjustments. We come out at half and we get a, a great drive together and, and, and put some points on the board because we certainly had our opportunities in this half and we just didn't make the most of them. Absolutely. Coach got to be happy with how the young Ethan Nidig has played in the first half here, made some good throws. Hey, you know, you, you get a floater that comes in there, you get an interception going in there, you're hoping to get points out of that, it's going to happen. He's a young sophomore quarterback. He's going to learn from that, make some adjustments at halftime, like you said here, get Matty Russin, get Crawford more involved in the second half, keep them there. I'd really have to see maybe, uh, not sure what kind of pass catcher Matty Russin is, but see him get out in space. And, uh, well, I've been asking the last three weeks, and I've been telling Jason, let's see some screens. I would, Especially the way these, these guys are coming upfield, uh, to, especially with Nighty being in the game. They're really trying to get after him. I'd love to see a little pop screen right over top of the lineman. Uh, but, you know, listen, these coaches know what they're doing. They're going to make some adjustments here at halftime. We're going to come out. We're going to put a nice drive together. Uh, right now, what we're doing, Danny, is we're having homecoming. So we're going to put the microphones outside and let the, the viewers enjoy homecoming. This is a great opportunity for our students uh, to be recognized. Recognized. Everybody has mask on. Everybody is social distant. And uh, uh, let's let's take a look and listen up to who is our homecoming. Court. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the field as Freedom High School would like to recognize our 2020 homecoming court. Maya Vizcano is escorted by her mom, Akisa Jones, and her sister, Peyton Jones, while maintaining an average GPA of 4.8. Amaya manages to work 20 plus hours per week. She is the leading co-candidate for the Freedom High School's role in the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Additionally, she is a member of the National Honor Society, Student Council, Minithon, and Mock Trial. With her award for the Congress of Future Medical Leaders Award of Excellence, there is no doubt that Amaya will prosper as an emergency medicine physician. Amaya aspires to attend the University of Chicago, where she will major in biology and minor in Spanish. Jack Dittbrenner is accompanied by his parents, Krista and John Dittbrenner. Jack is an active member of the Environmental Club and has played Freedom Lacoste since he was a freshman. He is also applying to be a member of the National Honor Society. Jack enjoys playing guitar going to the gym and hiking with friends in his spare time. His plan, he plans to further his education at Temple University or New York University to study film and cinematography. Caitlin Donello is accompanied by her parents, Peter and Stacy Donello. Caitlin is a four year varsity player for the Freedom Girls Soccer and Lacrosse team. She's an active volunteer for Special Olympics and is a Miller Keystone Blood Drive Coordinator. She is also the student body secretary, a BASC Minithon captain, and a letter in the Freedom Riot Squad. Caitlin enjoys spending time with her friends and going to the beach. She plans to attend a four-year university. Brooks Coyne is accompanied by his parents, Heather and Craig Coyne. Brooks is the captain of the Freedom Lacrosse team in the Riot Squad the student body vice president, and a member of the National Honor Society. Brooks enjoys working out and spending his free time with friends. He hopes to attend Penn State University to study finance. Madden Dudek is accompanied by her parents, Maureen and Dave Dudek. Madden is a member of the girls' varsity soccer team and the girls' varsity lacrosse team. She's also the senior class secretary, a captain for the BASC Minithon, a member of the National Honor Society, 
and a letter in the Freedom Ride Squad. In her free time, Maddie enjoys going on adventures and hanging out with her friends and family. She plans to attend a four-year university down south to study biology. Maddie would like to thank her teachers, coaches, family, and friends for making high school so memorable. Quinn Hoke is accompanied by his parents, Shannon and Wilson Hoke. Quinn is a National Honor Society member as well as a member of the Freedom Lacrosse and football team. Quinn enjoys hanging out with his friends and playing sports. Quinn is, will attend Wagner College to further his academic and athletic career while playing Division I lacrosse. Joel Levy is accompanied by her parents, Raynan and Jamel Levy. Joel is involved in the Freedom community, has a 4.8 GPA, is a varsity player on the basketball team, president of the National Honor Society, co-founder of STEM Club, vice president of Key Club, and a representative in the EPC SAC Council. She has over 140 hours of community service and was selected as one of 23 girls nationwide by the National Academy of Engineering to be an engineer girl ambassador creating an outreach program for middle school girls with the goal of increasing female enrollment in STEM classes. Joel hopes to attend Princeton University to study aerospace engineering. Jeremiah Espinosa is represented by his sister Miriam and accompanied by his mother and brother, Evelyn and Miguel Espinosa. Jeremiah is a proud member of the Freedom Football and is an honor roll student. He is a volunteer for the Special Olympics and does community service at his old youth football organization. In his free time, he enjoys spending time with family. Jeremiah intends to go to a four-year college to get a degree in communications and become a sports analyst. Sarah El Husini is accompanied by her parents Mo and Nadek El Husini. She's a senior class treasurer, a part of the Freedom Field Hockey Team, National Honor Society, Key Club, and Riot Squad. Sarah enjoys spending time with friends and family. She hopes to attend a four-year university where she'll major in business law. Daniel Ramirez is accompanied by his mother, Sarah Figueroa, and his brother, Sebastian Ramirez. He has been a four-year varsity soccer player and a district champion in 2018. Daniel has also been a four-year honor roll student and a current letter in the Freedom High School Riot Squad. He enjoys partying with his family and hanging out with his friends. He hopes to attend Temple University to study business and work with his father. Corinne Gill is accompanied by her parents, Bill and Doreen Gill. She is the captain of the basketball team. She's a part of the softball team as well as the National Honor Society. She enjoys volunteering at numerous community service activities, which include Special Olympics, Miracle League, and Soup Kitchen. Quinn will continue her academic and athletic career at East Stroudsburg University, playing basketball and majoring in early childhood special education. Jimmy Lee Hamm is accompanied by his parents, Lindy and Jimmy Hamm. Jimmy has attained honor roll all four years that he has attended Freedom. In his four years, he has been part of the Freedom baseball team, the BASC Minithon, and a letter in the Riot Squad. In his free time, he enjoys working out and hanging out with his friends. Jimmy is grateful for the experiences made by his friends and teachers over his time at Freedom. He hopes to attend the University of Pittsburgh to study business after graduation. Gabby Glick is accompanied by her parents, Jessica and Mike Glick. She is part of the softball and basketball team. She is also a Riot Squad captain. She is planning on going to college. She loves spending time with her friends, socializing in her free time, and eating cheeseburgers. She wants to thank her parents for everything they have done for her and being there for her over the last four years. Nick Schiara is accompanied by his parents, Deb and Mario. Nick is an honor roll student who is part of the baseball team, National Honor Society, and also a letter in the Riot Squad. He loves to spend time with his family and enjoys his free time by hanging out with friends. Nick is grateful for all the memories he was able to make during his high school career and hopes to study finance at the University of Pittsburgh after he graduates in June. 
Maddie Summers is accompanied by her parents, Michelle and Robert Summers. Maddie has attained honor roll all four years. She is very involved in the Freedom Community by being part of the BASC Minithon, Student Council, Athletics, and Ride Squad. She has over 130 hours of community service. Maddie will also graduate high school with a year of college credits completed due to being a dual enrollment student at Northampton Community College. She loves nothing more than spending time with her best buds and would like to thank her family and friends for helping her make memories that will be remembered for the rest of her life. Gavin Zabatone is accompanied by his mother Erin and father Bernie. Gavin has a 4.3 GPA and he is actively involved in academics. He plays left defense for Freedom Varsity Soccer and was recently selected as the senior class vice president. Gavin works at the Apollo Grill and plans to attend George Washington University to study government affairs. We would like to thank every member of the Freedom family for an amazing four years. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time it gives me great pleasure to announce the 2020 Freedom High School Homecoming Queen, Jewel Levy. And your 2020 Homecoming King, Jeremiah Espinosa. Freedom High School, homecoming king and queen, and all the members of the homecoming court. Well, welcome back to BAST YouTube TV. Hopefully you stay tuned for the... Uh, uh, the homecoming court and homecoming king and queen. That was a great representation of Freedom High School. And uh, great students, great kids, and uh, I'm glad we got to honor them tonight. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that uh, we didn't get to do all what we usually do with the golf carts, driving them around the track and, and really making it a big deal. But, uh, you know, they got the opportunity to get out there on the field and get honored. And uh, it's a special moment for everybody involved. So congratulations to, uh, to the homecoming court. So thank you. Uh, Danny made it back. I don't know if he ran over and got something to eat, but he's back in, back in, uh, in the seat and ready to go. So, Danny, let's take a look at these games here. Yeah, Joe, I was hoping that uh, you were talking about the tent over there for Nazareth. I was hoping I was walking in. I was going to be a barbecue pit over there. I'm a little, uh, a little nah, hungry. No, nah, that's the locker room. Uh, uh, that's but, uh, that's you know, I tell you what, that's a little disappointing. I was, you know, a little barbecue, maybe chicken fingers and well, fries. Hopefully something. you'll be hungry next year uh, or next Friday because uh, – uh, Dialy Contractors is the sponsor of this pizza competition here, and uh, we're going to start it off with Allen at Whitehall. I'll start with my selection, and then you can do yours, and then every other time we'll get to uh, select first and second. So Allen at Whitehall. I'm going to go with Whitehall as the winner of that game. So Stellano goes with Whitehall. All right. I'll tell you what, Joe, that's a, that's a real good pick there. Uh, I wonder if you saw that score in the, in the morning call this morning because that game was played last night. And Whitehall won 37 nothing. So yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so, hoping you didn't catch that. <laughs> All right. He got me on that one. Not okay. my first time here, kid. All right. Sorry. Uh, you know, I, okay. I did happen to see it. And then uh, Whitehall is 2-2. Two and two, And that's why they're 2-2. Two and two. They did get that win last night. Uh, I was hoping you were going to go with Allen on that one. But uh, I guess you're going to pick the, uh, Whitehall on yeah, that, Yeah, I think I'm going with Whitehall. All right. Nice selection the on Zephyr's that one. The Zephyr's taking that okay. one out. Okay. Next one is Parkland at Deeroff. Parkland is 1-0. and oh, And Deeroff is 0-2. Oh Stilato's pick is Parkland. Oof, going out on a limb on that one. Yes. Nothing against the Deer Fuskies. They're, they're rebuilding. It's a shame the two Allentown schools there. But uh, Parkland just got too many weapons. Taking the Trojans on that one. Okay. 
Your pick first, the Liberty at Northampton. Oh, you're giving me giving me the hometown yeah, one on that one. Yeah, you got the hometown <laughs> pick. Okay, and you're letting me come in there. Tell is, you what. You know, I'm a Liberty grad. He's a Northampton grad. And uh, let's see who we go with here. Well, you take a look at the K-Kids. They're led by their quarterback, Kerbacher. Two good receivers, Coleman and Baker. Impressive stat. Last week rushed for 223 yards against this stout Nazareth defense. Uh, 49 carries, 223 yards. That's, I'm pretty impressed with that. You know what, uh, Joe? I'm going to go with the K-Kids uh, uh, 21-7 on that one. All right, I'm not surprised. Andy's going with a score. Okay, Northampton for Danny on that one. And I'm also, uh, you know what? I'm going to go with Liberty on this. I'm going to go with my... Uh, I'm, I'm uh, shocked on that. Yeah, no, you know, it's, I'm, you know, hey, I'm a freedom guy, but, uh, you know, I certainly did graduate from Liberty and have great memories on this football field. Danny, I caught a touchdown right down there in that right-hand corner to win a game. Back uh, when it was, it was grass and there was lumps and humps all over this yeah, place. Yeah, that, that definitely was a little different. A little, but, uh, uh, I am going to go with Liberty on this one. They're both 0-2, and, and I, I think Liberty's going to come out on top. Yeah, on we'll one. see. All right, next game we have is Pocono Mountain West versus at Pleasant Valley. It's my selection. I'm going to go with... Uh, Pocono Mountain West. They're one and one. Pleasant Valley has not played a game yet um, uh, because of COVID, and they're getting back on the field uh, tonight or tomorrow night. Uh, but I'm going to go with Pocono Mountain West. Yeah, I think that, that uh, that's a that's a Friday night. That game's going on tonight as we speak here. But I tell you what, I'm going to go the opposite there, Joe. Uh, I think the uh, Pleasant Valley Bears are going to be uh, chomping at the bit. They're going to be ready to go. They've been shut down. The kids have been ready to play. Seeing all the all the other high school games going on, I'm going Pleasant Valley on that one. Okay. Write that down here. All right, we're going to go with the next one, another tough one, Emmaus at Central Catholic. Emmaus is 2-0, and and Central Catholic is 2-1. Uh, it's your turn to select first. All right, so here's a, a Saturday night tilt on this one, a top matchup. That's going to be a good game tomorrow night. you got two teams, 2-0. and Central Catholic has uh, top two top running backs in the EPC matching up against each other in this game. Uh, you got Williams from Central, and you got Kamir from Emmaus. Um, Kamir, seven touchdowns on the season. Uh, central quarterback, Rauscher, five touchdown passes on the on the year. I'm going to go, you know, this is going to be a high-scoring game, I think. I think uh, Central, a little too much overall speed. I'm taking the, I'm taking the Vikings. All right. Uh, after all that information, he's going to go with the Vikings. Okay, then. Uh, I'm going to go, actually, with Emmaus. I, I, um, Emmaus is 2-0. They're playing really well right now. Uh, I have a good feeling about Emmaus, and... Uh, uh, coming against Central Catholic, I was not that impressed against uh, Central Catholic against Nazareth in the first game I watched. I uh, wasn't that impressed with them, so I'm going to go with Emmaus on that game. We have Easton at Bethlehem Catholic. Uh, Easton at 1-1, one and one, Bethlehem Catholic at 1-1. One and one. Uh, My selection is Easton. I think Easton has just uh, too much. I think, uh, you know, with their role, you want to talk about a running back, uh, they certainly got one of the best in the league, and, uh, and I don't think Bethlehem Catholic can uh, hold him down. So I'm going to go with Easton on that selection. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to agree with you on that one. That, uh, that back from Easton, Adams, Najee Adams, he is, he's a tough one, tough one to bring down. Uh, I'm going to go Red Rovers on that one. And we got Stroudsburg at 2-0 and versus East Stroudsburg South at 1-0. and And they're playing at East Stroudsburg South. What do you have for that game? Well, a little tidbit on this one here, Joe. You know what they uh, – little rivalry game. Usually you don't get this that early in the season. You know, you see this end of the year, maybe around Thanksgiving, something like that. Um, you know what they call this rail, uh, rivalry game there, Joe? Uh, something with the railroad? No, not the railroad. It's actually the 76th annual – battle for the little brown jug how about that little tidbit for you on a friday night football huh? yeah, uh, you know what <laughs> i'm gonna go with the the cavaliers on this one making it uh, two years in a row getting that jug taking it home okay and i'm also gonna go with stroudsburg on that one so we have our picks in i took so east uh i'm going south joe the cavaliers oh, east stroudsburg east south, south. Yep. south. Okay. i'm going east stroudsburg south. oh i don't know about that pick danny uh, uh, stroudsburg is usually the uh, the team to beat up there the last couple of years. But, uh, okay, if that's what you're going with, um, that's that's your selection. We got it. So well, we yeah, got I the numbers down. We'll have to check those out next week. And, again, our, our division is Nazareth at 3-0, and Freedom at 2-0, and Easton at 1-1, and Bethlehem Catholic at 1-1, and Northampton at 0-2, and, and Liberty at 0-2. Uh, the way they're going to do this uh, district 
playoff, uh, Danny, is they're going to take eight teams from the district um, and, and seed them accordingly to power points. And then uh, they're going to run a three-week three tournament. And then the winner of that is going to be uh, the, the District 11 champion, but they will not go on to states. Uh, our district, District 11, made a decision not to send a team to states. Uh, so we are going to run a, 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 a three-week tournament and have a district champion. And, you know, a, a, a team like uh, Stroudsburg, a team like uh, Emmaus, and a team like Central, Ca well, Central won't be in it. They're in a different district. But, um, you know, we, there's a lot of opportunities for teams to get in with two losses uh you know i don't know if you can get in with one loss but you could certainly get in with two losses because i did notice that uh you know with eight teams when i went through the numbers uh they certainly have a chance a lot of teams have a chance to get making it in the playoffs yeah that, that, that leaves it up for anybody to get in there you you know less games in the season you're open for less injuries anybody anybody's got a chance anybody's game yeah you got the lehigh county division with parkland central catholic allen deer whitehall and emmaus in the Mountain Valley Division, you got East Stroudsburg South, Stroudsburg, Pocono Mountain West, Pocono Mountain East, East Stroudsburg North, and Pleasant Valley. And then, of course, you got Northampton County Division. So, yeah, they're, they're, you know, th those teams do come down and, and take some of those spots, uh, those eight spots. But uh, we're 30 seconds away from kickoff here, and Freedom does get the ball, and I'm excited about this second half. I know Freedom does an outstanding job in the locker room of coming out uh, and making adjustments. Uh, so I'm expecting us to, to move the ball on this first possession and, and at least flip the field and, and possibly get some points on the board. Yeah, definitely want to get some points on this for the first series here. We had drive down deep in, in Nazareth territory. Unfortunately, came away with the interception, hoping to turn that around here, even if it's a field goal, just to get some some positive points up on the board here for, for the Patriots start the second half and uh, get the ball rolling. Yeah, they had, uh, you know, that, that, that defense, what we're doing, Danny, is, is making those, we're trying to go personnel changes with according to what Nazareth has in uh, or, or according to who's tired and who's not. And I, you know, the way that Nazareth's running this no huddle, we just can't do that. We got we to gotta have a base defense that's on the field and stays on the field. And, and you know, because those two penalties there uh, really hurt us, especially because we have such a good goal line defense, uh, you know, but when you have two penalties down in the goal line it's, it doesn't matter how good your defense is you know you put the ball in the you know on t in two penalties you put it down the two yard line you, you really put your backs against the wall on that one so uh you know we got to make adjustments with that offensively like you talked about making some short passes to the outside uh it would get him some confidence get him confidence to throw the ball across the middle but let's get him some confidence first and, and, and again, go to lightning and lightning. You get those two guys in at the same time, maybe possibly throw a, a little, uh, yeah. a little uh, screen pass or a pass out of the backfield would be nice. But, uh, you know, those are types of things that uh, Coach Roder probably uh, talked about at halftime. And Nazareth at halftime, Danny, what do you think they talked about? Just get, keep rolling with the ball. They're, they're, uh, they got their passing game rolling. They're spreading everybody out. Defense is playing tough. They're going to keep the box loaded here. They're going to they're going to force the Patriots to throw down 14 nothing going in the second half. Definitely going to have to get the ball in the air. They're showing that they are taking away the run. Matty Rustin still making some some nice plays, some nice cuts, but I think Nazareth's going to keep going with what they're doing. Yeah, I don't see why they would change anything. I mean, they they did a nice job against us, but uh, you know, we, we if we make a few adjustments, because we 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 sh you know killed ourselves on that on that possession down at the five yard line, uh, not punching that one in, and or at least coming away with three. Um, but fourteen nothing, we're still right in this, and uh, we get a nice little drive here, come away with fourteen seven, and and we got ourselves a game. Definitely. We got uh, looks like we got Matty Russell and AJ Fletcher back there to return the kickoff. Both guys capable with the speed. They can take it to the house. So yeah, we got to get a nice kickoff here, get a good kickoff return, get the second half started. I'd like to see Fletcher get a little more involved in the offense. They might even do a little, uh, you know, a wide receiver come in motion, hand the ball off to him, something to get him going because the first two games, uh, boy, was he impressive when he got the ball. So explosive. I mean, he had a catch where he did a Superman over in the end zone uh, against Easton, just totally laid out for the ball, made a great catch, uh, you know, Owen Johnson McCormick, I haven't seen him getting involved yet. We got to get some of these other playmakers the ball, and uh, and I'm sure they made adjustments. Ben Ben Rep probably uh, drew up some things at halftime, and they're going to work on getting these other guys the ball. All right, here we go. Looks like we're ready to get, ready to kick it off here. We got Russell and Fletcher back to receive the Bugabee, second half kickoff. 
watch his leg. I mean, he put that ball in the end zone last time. This one's a little shorter. Coming up short, coming up to Fletcher. Line. Runs to the outside, got a little room. All right, makes he's a move. Catching the move. Got to the outside, he's at the and 40 there you go. That's yard what we, line. That's what we talked about, Joey. Need a good start, get a good return here, all the way out to the. Yeah, that was a great play. I mean, he got up to the 43 yard line. That's a that's a great way to start. That's the that's the excitement that you needed. That's a that's a little burst you needed right there. Yeah, that was a nice run. I mean, he he got up to the sideline, looked like nobody wanted to push him out of bounds, and he just kept going. All right, so we got Russ in the game. We got Hoke to the near side here. We got uh, Johnson McCormick to the far side, and we got to get something going here. Got great field position to start the second half. A 14 to nothing score. Yeah, making in in motion there, number 33. Lead block coming off up. To Russin. Russin makes a nice, nice little cut. cut. Great, great gain on first down. There you go. That's what it is. Get six that little yards. seam. Put the foot in the ground. Make a nice cut. Good six yards. Yeah, we certainly don't have time to dance. Uh, he's got to make a one cut go, and he's been doing that, you know, his whole career. And he's not a dancer. He, he he gets up in the hole. Him and Crawford both. They plant that 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 foot in the turf, and they just go. Um, they, they, what they do, Danny, is they run. It looks like they're running in the plays with the uh, wide receivers. They got Johnson McCormick down here to the near side, shotgun position. And here goes Nining. He's back for a pass. Looks, he pumps. He's on the run. Comes up, tucks the ball away, puts his head down, and gets about three or four yards, almost a yard short of the first down. That's a nice decision. Both receivers covered on that one. Tucks it away. Doesn't try to force it. Get some positive yards. Good job. You got a nice manageable here. Third, third and one. About third and yeah, it looks like third and one there. That's a nice play. I agree with that one. He he definitely uh, did the right thing there, tucking it in and running. Um, so let's get something going here with Matty. Get it. Get the first down and and hope to the far side. We have a bunch in the backfield with Johnson McCormick making in motion. Up the middle. Oh, he had. He, oh, he, had he was some close to there. breaking that one. One more guy to beat. He was taking that to the house. Making, yeah, that's making number thirty-three. Was going in motion there, but yeah, uh, that time all he had he had a hole there that time. This offensive line is really kicking it into gear this this second half, and and they're making themselves putting themselves to drive together. Here we go. And you know what? And that's one, that's one problem that with the defense, you stack the box in there. You, your defensive backs are going to be out spreading them out. You break through that initial five yards, there's nobody there. He's going to take it yeah, to the house. That was so I'd like to see that happen up, again. That was the safety who came up and made that tackle. Uh, we have a uh, twins to the far side, making in, in motion. Ball handed off to Russin, bounces to the outside, nothing there. He gets pushed out of bounds, a gain of one. They're using that, tell you what, they're taking that tight end, putting him in a little motion here, seeing what the defense is going. Anybody going to move with him? They playing a, a man, they're going in a zone. And he's standing there and using him almost like a fullback. They, they don't run a fullback system here. No, they, they call him the H-back. Um, they do use him like you're saying, exactly like you're saying. They use him as a fullback, but they, they call him the H-back. Uh, so he does go in motion. He pulled and, and he likes to, and what they like to do is hit the defensive ends with him. We got twins to the far side. Making on the far side also. He comes in motion. He's back. Nighting's back. He throws the ball to a nice little out. Oh. Nice ball. He put that one right where he, you got it. We got him. Gonna need that catch. And Hoke's gonna, Hoke's gonna come with down, come down with those more times than not. That was a nice play. The defender got a hand in there, knocked that one away. Yeah, he's a good receiver. You know, it was a nice, a nice throw. It was right in his hands. Um, you know, the defense made a nice play on it. And now here we go, third and seven with nine minutes left. Now this is definitely, I think, four, four. Uh, Fourth down territory. I think uh, you know. Let's get a couple yards here and make it fourth down and, and manageable. But uh, we got uh, twins to the far side, single receiver to the near side with Johnson McCormick, and I'm still waiting to see Johnson McCormick get a, a, a ball thrown up to him, and he's going to make a play, and this might be it. He's back. Nighting does a nice job of getting out of trouble. Okay, 
We got we put ourselves in a position where we got a, a manageable fourth down. Uh, he, again, he did a nice decision there, running the ball because these guys are not getting open, are they? Absolutely, no. They're the Nazareth defensive defensive backfield is doing a great job covering our receivers. They're not being able to get open, but I tell you what, for a sophomore quarterback to be able to keep his head there, make a move, get away from the sack, and actually pick up positive yards in there. Now we got a, a fourth and about three, fourth and three and a half. And Danny, I'm surprised that these deep backs are staying with our receivers. They're they're going man to man and they're staying with them. All right, here we go. We're Big spreading player. them out. Two receivers to the far side, two receivers to the near side. Fourth down and four. Nighting steps back, throws a little pitch out to him. Ooh, he didn't get it. <clears throat> he did not get it. He's going to be shy of first down yardage, Danny. They're going to well, turn the ball over on downs. Turn it over on downs. Now that's a now that's a play as you as you get older, your your junior year, your senior year, you're going to know to run that route to the down marker where you got to make that first down. You catch, you make the catch, you're going to get tackled. You know you got the first down. Yeah, that's, that's a sophomore uh, quarterback and a sophomore uh, wide receiver. Man, are they going to be exciting in years to come? But on that play. Uh, you are exactly right. He has got to get to the first down marker uh, before he makes that cut. Uh, and, and, you know, that's just as a, as a former wide receiver, that, that's a given. You've got to get that first down, especially on fourth down. we got a handoff up the middle, number 26, Roan, and there's no room there. We close that real quick. We're playing a little more. Kind of like making up there on the tackle again. Yeah, making it's all over the place all, all of a sudden. But, uh, yeah, we seem to be playing. We came out at halftime with a little more fire. Uh, and I'm sure Coach Roder had something to do with that. Absolutely. We got seven minutes and 54 seconds left in the third quarter. Second down at 11. Nazareth 14, Freedom 0. We got trips to the near side, wide receiver, single receiver to the wide side. Roll out. Throws the ball up the field. He's got a man open at the 40. Makes him cut all the way back. He's at the 40. Goes down at the... 35-yard line. I think we had a defender that fell down on that. That's a tough play. You got a, your quarterback scrambling around there, your defenders. And here they go. They stick run with up going. to the line of scrimmage. Trips to the far side. Man, are they get up there quick. That little screen pattern. Nice play. That's Feliciano. Feliciano that That's a great read job. that. Great. We got a flag on the play, but Feliciano did a fantastic job of coming through and making that tackle. That was humongous play for a loss of four. After that big play by Nazareth, we really needed that. They picked up the flag. I don't know what that was all about. I think that might have been a sideline warning on the Patriots. Okay. We're familiar, all too familiar with those. We got seven no minutes left with two, second down and 13, a loss of three on that. And what a play by Feliciano. I hope that uh, uh, that pays off. We got trips to the near side, single receiver to the wide side, shotgun position with Hig Higby runs up the middle, gets back to the original line of scrimmage. We've been waiting to see that, Danny, him to run the ball. He hasn't really done that all night long, uh, but that time he didn't see anybody open, tucked the ball and ran. Yeah, we had a nice, good defensive line push there. That was a nice play. I, don't know, I think it's 68 on there, France on that tackle. Got it, almost had him for a big loss there. He made a nice run. Third and 10. Hug. He's got a guy deep. He throws it up. We got nice play. Oh, number 11, Cabrera with the catch. Seemed like he took it right away from Yeah, I don't, I don't two, know how he got that Fletcher. one out of there. Fletcher was right in there. I thought Fletcher was coming away with the in I interception, the and 11 pulled it out. I thought the ball was intercepted. Fletcher was in perfect position to make the play, and it, Cabrera just wanted it more and took it right away from him. Wow, that's a, that's a tough play. You, you, the defender came back. Closed up on the, the receiver was a little open there. Fletcher definitely closed that gap there. Got right in there, and you know what? That's you just gotta you gotta fight and you gotta get battle for that ball. Yeah, Bugaby again. Just uh, he really is swinging the ball, and then we talked about one of the keys to the game of not letting up the big play, and big plays are certainly hurting us in this situation. Uh, you know, and unfortunately we had a guy there. Uh, you know, on the play, the other big play, our guy fell. Uh, you know, that that's going to happen. But on this play here, it was just a simple post pattern, and, and it looked like Fletcher had good defense on it, and just didn't, and just didn't make a play. So we really got to get something going here. We had the momentum. There at the second half, uh, the start of the second half, we drove the ball down, and and we just didn't finish off the the drive. And he can't take it away from from Bugaby. He's he's thrown a nice ball. He put that one right where he wanted it. 
you know, and that's that's your uh, your experience. You're a senior player there, making making some nice plays, making nice runs and throws. Yeah, Huggaby is really impressing me. I, he came out of nowhere, like I said. He was the kicker last year. You never expect a you know a, a kicker to all of a sudden turn into a quarterback, but uh, he looks like he a veteran quarterback back there, and he's doing a really nice job with his uh, you know, with his throws and his decision making. You know, and and Nining's going to get there. You know, it's, you know he had a short week. He didn't have a lot of time, a lot of reps. Balls here is kicked in the end zone. That'll be downed. And that's going to be a touchback. Um, that was on Fletcher. And just they uh, saw on the uh, BASD Stadium scoreboard there here at uh, Frank Baco Field, they had a out of town score there, and it was a uh, a K Kid Hurricane score, and it was a twenty one seven K Kids there, Joe. Oh no, I did not see that. Oh, that is not good uh, for my pick. Uh, yeah, I'm disappointed in the Hurricanes this year. They just can't seem to uh, to get it together. It looked like they played a real nice half against Easton in the first half, go to 0-0 at halftime, and then come out in the second half, and just and, and Easton just ran away with it. But uh, here we go. Making in motion, getting him in the fullback position, going to throw. Looking Lighting to throw. nothing open, another good decision. Nice throw. Okay. And, all right, throwing all right. that one away. Yep. Nice job. Nothing there. Don't force it. Hoke trying to work back to this quarterback. That's a good sign of receiver. You got a quarterback that's scrambling. Your receiver's working back to you. Couldn't get it to him. Threw out of bounds. Yeah, hey, Dan, you live to fight Dan, another day. When you have a, a, a quarterback, a sophomore quarterback, his first start, uh, sometimes his, his vision, he's looking at the lineman. He's looking at the defensive lineman coming at him instead of looking downfield. He did have a guy open on that. Um, but, you know, and, and like we said, it, it's going to come with experience. He had a short week. He got barely any reps. Uh, he's going to be fine. He throws a nice ball. He's going to he, he's gonna be a good player to come. Like ball up to Matty. Matty makes a nice cut back. Another nice cut. Gets the ball out to the 30-yard line for a first down. That's, that was his go. best run. Yep. Absolutely. And that's what we keep saying. He's going to break. He breaks that first level. He could take it to the house. And that was there. One more. One more got to beat. He's, he's going to do it. Book, book it right here, Judge. He's taking one to the house. Yeah, like we said, Bugby is doing a great job in the backfield there. And, uh, you know, he's, you know, and now our quarterback's got to pick it up and do a, uh, do the same. And we just got to get things going here with the score of 21 to nothing with five minutes and 40 seconds left. You know, not certainly do we have time, but uh, we got to get things going here. Yeah, that clock is not our friend right now. That, that's a, we got a fast third quarter going here only five minutes left five minutes 30 trips seconds out left. here to the near side single receiver to the wide side gonna steps back. And that one was a little forced in there we had hope coming across on a on another post route skinny post route at the defender read that one nice read the quarterback's eyes and was right in there lucky to get away with that incomplete that one wasn't there. That, that one wasn't there. That, that, that's the one he has to, again, pull down, uh, run up the middle, or, uh, you know, or make a better decision, change his vis vision and go to a different receiver. He was really staring at one, one receiver on that play, and uh, he's got to look elsewhere on that. Uh, we got Twins here to the, to the near side, uh, making in the backfield. He's probably going to go in motion here. Uh, here he goes, and we got Matty Russin in the backfield next to uh, Nighting. Nighting hands the ball off to Russin. Nice run. He's getting a little more openings, Danny. Yes, he is. You know, yes, he I, is. I, I'm waiting for him to every time I'm thinking, wow, this is the one that he's going to break loose. And, and there, you know, there was a guy in the backfield there. He juked him and then got up through that hole pretty quickly. And, I, you know, it only takes one missed tackle and he's gone. Our linemen are doing a really nice job on that delayed handoff. They're getting their reading their their blocks. Yeah, and I think in the second half, much better linemen, no? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's, that's your adjustments at halftime, loan with the defense. Give me the defensive front that they have going in front of you. Read that, and Matty Rustin's definitely reading those blocks and making some nice cuts. And he makes a nice throw to the outside to Fletcher. And there we go, getting the ball in and our playmaker's hands. Uh, and, he, and, of course, he makes a guy miss, and, and he gets a nice little gain here. And that's what those are the throws we need to make. That was a really pretty ball. And that's a nice play That's a nice play by your, your senior leader there, Fletcher. That's a, as a coach, you're looking for that, that rack, that you run after the catch. It makes a little move, make a guy miss, you make your first down. And nice he job. Had a nice, nice. He had a nice pocket there to throw in. Uh, Cherick and Kreidler and Moore and Swind and Borgato are doing a nice job. They're making they, they're doing a much better job this half of controlling that line of scrimmage. Trips to the far side. Nining back to pass again. Nice little catch. Nice little block. 
And there's Owen, that's a great catch. Using his hands up there, going up, taking the ball away from the defender, fighting for some extra yards, showing a little leg strength there in a young man. That's all we need to do is get our playmakers the ball. Just throw them these little hitches, throw them these little outs, let them do the rest. Uh, Johnson McCormick is a playmaker. Get him the ball early and get him the ball often, and, and big things are going to happen. Same with Fletcher, and, and now we're starting to do those things. We're getting it, you know, and, and Niding just had two nice throws, and here we go. Get him in a little confidence. Get him a little in a, a little rhythm here. We got uh, twins to the near side, making in the backfield, probably going to go in motion here. Hiding back, and there's the throw that we've been waiting for. Mm. Just missed him. He's got to put a little more air under that. Let uh, Johnson McCormick make a play on that. Uh, but we knew that was coming sooner or later where he's going to air one out to him. Uh, just a little much of a line drive throw on that. I'd like to see a little more air on that. Here comes Fletcher back into the game. Well, and Owen ran a nice pattern in there. He had the open, the whole right side of the field there. That's where your young, young quarterback's going to learn to lead him up to the middle of the field. More of that post. He kind of threw that one towards the numbers a little bit. A little overzealous, a little, little too much on that one. They'll come, definitely come back to that. He's going to make that play. This, this defense has their safety in the box. So they're, they're, the middle of the field is wide open. Uh, I mean, look at, look at the middle of the field, Danny. And, and you know, it's just – it's open. It's just – oh. All right, there he's got to lead. Uh, he's got to lead him a little more. He made a, a number twenty-one. Made that's a nice a, that's play Kappa on that. Bianco. That's a uh, that's your senior. Yeah, he made a nice play on that. But senior uh, linebacker making a nice play, reading it. You know, trying to force that. It's, he, Coach yeah. is showing confidence in yeah. here. They want they want the young guy to throw the ball a little bit, but he's that I'm, one you're trying to force it a little bit. Yeah, just look at this defense. Look where the safety is when they start this defense. He is no more than eight yards off the ball I mean they just are piling guys in this box and they're just saying man on man out there you can't beat us and and you know I I haven't seen this from a high school defense in a long time well they're daring them to throw Joe and that's it, it's so Roll far it's working the for the Naz and that one yeah. a little bit too high they're, they're they're making them throw the ball oh we got that was yeah. uh, going to Owen I think that was intended for and they're doing the right thing about getting them on the move a little bit. They rolled out to the left. Uh, he just did, he just didn't make a connection on there. And uh, again, it's just lack of reps. It's just you know we you know we found out that uh, Taylor wasn't going to play on like Wednesday or Thursday of this week, and it, he just did not get enough reps uh, to to come out here and be effective. Uh, you'll see a whole new nighting next week uh, after a full week of practice. Uh, so here we go. We still got a, a ball game here that we can still compete in. Uh, Nice little pitch out to the little yeah, down and, and out. I'll tell you what, really impressed with the receivers both sides of the ball here. The way they're catching the ball, getting it out away from their body, using their hands, not letting it come in. You even see that on Sunday, some of the NFL receivers letting the ball get up on Danny, their, up their shoulders. Danny, not only do we see it on Sundays, we used to see it back in 1989 uh, from Liberty High School. Uh, and and uh, from Liberty High School wide receivers core band. Back. You're forgetting them. Oh, another deep throw. He's got a guy open. Good Fletcher. coverage by Fletcher there. Fletcher Good job. Fletcher made a nice play. We got number 10 down. Injured Felician. Blue Eagle on the, on the play here. That's Felician. That's Felician your, down. Your no, he got up. Receiver. Good. All right, he's good. He's he's jogging off. Good to see that. You don't want to see anybody getting hurt tonight. We had decent coverage on that. Uh, you know, again, I thought Fletcher was there, uh, you know, but it was a heck of a throw. He threw to the outside that, uh, where the only the wide receiver can get. It was a nice little play. Absolutely. He's definitely got the arm strength in there. I know that earlier in the first half, that one he rolled out to the left there, about 45 yards in the air. That one, easy 35 yards. For a high school quarterback to be able to do that and put that accuracy right where he wants to throw that, that's, that's impressive. Third down and four, two minutes and 57 seconds left in the third quarter. We got twins to the near side, single receiver to the far side. Bugabee is shotgun position. Hand off to number 11. Nice Nice play. job. Number three, balls on the ground. Oh, they're saying he's down. That was Feliciano, Feliciano on that again. tackle. Our, our cornerbacks are really place. coming up, making some plays out in the open space. That's a hard, hard tackle to make. A lot of people don't realize how hard that is. You get a guy moving full speed coming at you. You're there to make that to make that open field tackle. Great job. 
Here we go. We got uh, fourth and eight. They're probably going to punt away here. We, we were close to getting a couple of these uh, punt blocks. Wouldn't that be nice to get a little spark going here? Well, that's what you, you talk about keys of the game, special teams making a big play. We got Hoke back there receiving. And Capianco punting the ball. Almost got to that one again. And ball caught on the 18-yard line, spins and gets out of it, but about the 21-yard line. All right, good job by Hoke. Securing the catch there, getting a couple yards, positive yards. Nice job. Hold on to the ball. Let's get the page rolling here. Two minutes and five seconds left in the third quarter. We got a score of 21 to zero. We got first down and 10 with the ball on the 21 yard line for the Patriots. And 205 here left in the third quarter. Let's get a little bit more of that what we saw starting off the second half. Some short passes. Russin breaking through. Offensive line doing a nice job here, opening up some holes. We got to see a little bit more of the same. Trips to the left. Making in motion, hand off to Matty, up the middle. Oh. And their defensive line is Man, tough. did they get through on that one. There was no room whatsoever for Matty Russin on that play. Give that one. They got big 71 in there. That's uh, a gain of one. We got second down and nine. That's, uh, Braden Saylor, senior, 6'2", 230. Yeah, he got there, there pretty quickly, huh? Yes, he did. That, that defensive line, they're, they're big. They can move. They're making plays. Espinosa comes into the game. He's the tight end, uh, so they might be going too tight here. They got two receivers to the near side. Making in motion. Knighting back, throws a nice little ball there, and here he goes. There you go. There's Owen again. That's a nice ball, nice, nice route, nice ball, good catch. That's what we need to see here. Third and, oh, two. they're giving it. There you go. First down. Okay, nice job. First down. Perfect. One, one ten left here in the third quarter. Moving the ball. Get those short, quick passes. Then you don't need a lot of time for him scrambling around back there. That defensive line is really putting a lot of pressure. Quick hitters move the ball down the field. We got twin receivers to the near side. We got a single receiver to the wide side. Johnson McCormick down here on the near side with Hoke. Here's Knighting, back to throw. Another nice throw. There we go. Now he's getting a little rhythm. Okay, okay. Really Look. nice throw on that. It was just a simple hook pattern for 10 yards for a first down and, and released the ball, had some heat on that, and, and Johnson McCormick, uh, you know, caught the ball with his hands like he's supposed to. Defense was on his back, but it didn't matter, and we got ourselves a first down. Here we go. There we go. Now we're starting to get a little bit of rhythm. Like you said, that's nice. Nice pitch and catch there. Get no one involved in the game. Nice job. First down and 10 with 26 seconds left in the third quarter. We go double tight. Make it in motion again. Far side. Okay. A little risky throw there, but that's uh, to uh, Feliciano, Feliciano there trying to get that little that. There you go. So there's your your quick throws. Your, your one step, boom, catch it, spin. Get it out to your playmakers. Hopefully they can make a play out in space. And that's the end of the third quarter. We got second down and eight to start the fourth quarter. We got a score of 21-0. And we put, we we're putting some nice plays together. Nighting is starting to feel a little rhythm, Danny. And uh, they're starting to move the ball a little better. Things are going a lot smoother here offensively. Uh, now we just got to string a bunch of these plays together. Uh, and, and, you know, and hopefully a big play is brewing somewhere in this offense yeah that's that's what we're going to need here with the fourth quarter still down 21 nothing we're going to need a big play we're going to we're going to have to score quick the uh the sustained drive uh don't really think that's going to be to our best benefit right now we're eating quick hitters quick score you gotta gotta try to take the top off the defense you, you don't yet safety's up in the box you got to take a shot down the field young quarterback showing he's got his head on his shoulders there give him a shot you need a quick score here to get back in this game no doubt, and uh, he certainly can throw the deep ball. I've seen it, so uh, let it fly. We got uh, twin receivers to the far side. We got Hoke down here to the near side. And again, they're still doing that. Well, now they got the, the safety back there for, for Nazareth. Still got the linebackers all up in there, two, two yards off the line of scrimmage. Daring them to throw it. Hand the ball off. To, that's Crawford. That's Crawford, yeah. Nice little gain. There you go. We got a, he's, still, he's got that burst, too. And he's, lightning he's, and lightning, dude. Yeah, he's that. He's not a little guy that's got that little shake to him. That's that, he always like that in a receiver. 
third and four. This is, you know, four. This is this this, this time of the game. It's definitely fourth, four down. But uh, you know, we got to go for it. And what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. But third down and four. Hopefully, we get a couple yards here. But we got twins to the far side. Single receiver down here. Johnson McCormick to the near side. We got Knighting. Stepping back, nice little handoff to Matty. He's got some Crawford, room here. He's at the 50. He's at the 35, the 40. Gets taken down at the 38-yard line. Nice job. And there's Crawford showing he's got the burst, too. Yes, that, is, that was Crawford yep, on he, that. He's the junior in there. He's, he's saying, okay, coach, let me get the ball a little bit. I can show you what I can do. And you got A.J. Fletcher coming back into the game here. Twins here to the near side, single receiver up top on the far side. That's Hoke making in motion. Hand off to Crawford, makes a nice little cut. A nice little run again. Nice job. Keep your feet there. He might have been, might have been in the end zone on that one. Nice run. 10 minutes and 30 seconds left. We got second down and four for the Patriots. Now that's where you want on first down. It's a big six yard pickup on first down. Really and set you up for the rest of the rest of your series here. Nighting's definitely starting to feel a little rhythm here and feel a little more confident. You can just see it in his face and his, you know, in his throws and in his uh, posture, uh, doing a much better job. We got single receiver to the far side, single receiver to the near side, making in motion. Nighting back in shotgun position, hands the ball off to Crawford. Crawford uh, loses ball's it. Out. Ball's out. Nazareth, Nazareth picks it up. He's it up. got some room. Nighting runs him down. Misses the tackle, there's and a he fumble, and, and he jumps back, back on it. What a play. We cannot uh. put the ball on the turf and expect to be in these types of games. And that, that's a tough one right there. They're, they're driving, they're moving, they got the momentum. That's a, that's a heartbreaker right there. That one hurts. That, that uh, you know, like Danny said, we had all the momentum going. We started getting something going. We started getting some confidence with Knighting, and, uh, and we put the ball on the carpet. Uh, Nazareth did a nice job of picking that up uh, and, and had a really nice run on that. And uh, luckily, he didn't score. And now we, we have another opportunity to make a stop here with uh, 9.55 left uh, with the ball on the 23-and-a-half yard line. Well, here's where your, your, your senior leader's got to step up. Hand the ball off up the middle for about a five-yard gain. And that's back to Rome. We haven't heard his name in a, in a little while. They've been throwing the ball around. They, they, they think now we're going to see a little shift in the Nazareth offense, maybe go a little more ground and pound, turn that clock down up 21-0 here with 9.38 left in the, third, or in the fourth quarter. Excuse me. Yeah, they got they got two pretty good running backs themselves with Roan and uh, Kwiatek, uh, and they do a nice job of getting both of them uh, touches also. Um, and they're still going with this no huddle, but they all look over for the play, and then they get the play, and then the quarterback relays that to the lineman. A handoff to Roan up the middle. Nice stop there. We got nine minutes left in the game. Yep. We got yep. third nice. down and six. Nice stop by Jake Schwind on there. That's your, your senior leader and interior lineman. Defense got to hold up tough here. Hope just keep it, we give it a three points at most. Twins to the near side, twins to the far side. And they are working that clock here, Joe. They're, they uh, are really taking that down. Bugby in shotgun position again turns over to the coach. The coach changes the play. They now are in trips to the far side. Roan comes to the left of the quarterback. A fumble falls on, falls the, ground. on the carpet. And nice Big play. Hit. Who was that that came That's up? 55. Kreidler. That was Kreidler. Came up Great and job. laid the smackdown on the quarterback after that fumble. Great play. Now, I wouldn't sometime. be surprised if they kick a field goal here, Danny. He can make this. Well, fourth and eight. Here's where you could really, really try to do it. They're going to take that clock all the way down. They're working that clock. But you know what? Sometimes a little, you keep shifting, shifting, shifting. You take yourself out of what you've been doing all game. And they're lucky they didn't get it. They came up, didn't lose that fumble. I wouldn't be surprised here if they call a timeout. Maybe let, 
Well, they're going with it. Here we go. Bugby throws the ball short, and they're going to be short of the first down. Oh, the ball's, ball's on, on the, the ground. Floor. Ball's on the no, ground. Oh, it's an incomplete. So, All with right. seven minutes and 40 seconds left, Freedom Patriots take the ball over, and let's get something going here. Even if it's a confidence builder for next week, or whatever the situation, we got to get something going here, Danny. Well, that's a big play by the defense stepping up, not giving up any more points here. After the, the quick change turnover, you can put your head down real easy and let them walk into the end zone. Your, uh, your Jason Roeder-led defense is not going to do that. The kids really showed up there. Get the ball back in the offensive hands. Let's get some points on the board. All year long, our defense showed up. I mean, we are really playing well. Uh, and you can't take anything away from this Nazareth defense. They, they, they're 3-0. and They came into the game only giving up 12 points a game, rusting up the middle, nothing there, about three-yard gain. But uh, they came in the game, Danny, only giving up 12 points a game in the first three games. And and that, that average is even going to go a little down tonight if we don't put some points on the board. Yeah, it's going to be tough. You know, we knew it was going to be tough coming in here, going up Knight on throws top. The ball up to Hoke. Makes That's a, nice a great catch. catch. Nice play. Nice throw. Nice catch. That's where you go up and get the ball. High point that ball. That's where you want your receivers to go. Go up and attack that ball. Come down with the catch. It's a perfect throw to the outside. The receiver goes up and gets it. Makes the catch. They put the ball in the uh, the 46 yard line and here we go. And that, you know, he does throw a nice deep ball. Yes, he does. And that's the big play that we were looking for. Knighting back and throws another nice little hitch. Johnson McCormick for a nice little six yard gain. Oh, Owen Johnson Cork, nice player out there. He can make the catch, showing some strength, fighting off the tackles there. Nice job, nice gain. They're letting nine go now. They're letting him fly the ball, and that's that's what he seems to be comfortable with. Manny runs the ball up the middle, gets the first Gonna down. Gonna be close to a first down. Let's see where they spot that one. Should be enough, for, and there we go. Chains are moving, first down. We got six minutes and 38 seconds left. First and well, 10 Patriots for the going, Patriots. Patriots going a little of their own hurry up here offense. We got a flag we on that play, not sure what that, somebody, somebody not set. got a false start on freedom the coaches don't seem to be happy with that we put ourselves in a uh, first down and 15 but uh, uh, Nining is certainly getting in a little rhythm here uh, and, and you know the whole second half I don't think he's playing that bad of a second half we no just, he's no he's not Joe it, it just that you, you take that one Interception away, I think the kids played a really nice game tonight. I agree. I agree. For his first start as a sophomore, he's only going to get better. We got two receivers to the wide side, two receivers to the near side. Knighting and shotgun. Matty Russin to his right. Drops back. Throws another mm -hmm. nice ball to the middle. Nice catch and, and nice was... throw. Feliciano. That's Feliciano on the catch. Nice job. Shame he couldn't keep his feet there. Might have got a couple more yards, but getting it back up on the ball. We talked about nice that pass. middle of the field being open, and that's Feliciano that came was, out of from the tight end position and uh, made that catch. And that was a wide open in the middle. Russin up the middle. Three yards before number Levy comes up and makes that play, number 54. We got second down in about six. We got 5:38 left here in the fourth quarter. Here we got to keep the ball moving. Nighting back pass, throws a nice Looking ball to deep. the corner of the end zone. Oh, wow. little hand play and there. Yeah, there was. The they, let, they let him the go defense. there. That could have been a little pi on that one. McCormick Again, working for position on that one. That's where Nighting's got to put the ball to the outside, put a little more air under it, and let Johnson McCormick go up and get it. So we have the clock stopped there on the incomplete pass. Third and eight, 529 left here in the fourth quarter. Right. <laughs> Five minutes, 29 seconds, third down and eight. <laughs> Nighting back for the pass. You got Hope coming across. Oh, oh a little oh, high on that one. A little bit too high on that one. Well, we're seeing we're seeing that uh, when Nining is on his back foot, he is certainly not as as effective when he's kind of backpedaling, getting on his back foot. That's when the ball sails on him, and that's when we get in trouble. Uh, he's really got to be able to step up into that pocket and and, and throw off the front foot. And uh, you know, and 
again, we'll, we'll, he'll get those reps and he'll get this thing figured out. But we got a fourth down and eight with 520 left. You know, we got to make something happen now, Danny. Trips oh, to the go. right. Nighting back. He's has got he got a guy open, but he too oh, much pressure. Man. Number twelve he had up Fletcher there on the open tackle. in the middle of the field. That's he, uh, Sony Sonny Susso on the sack there. That that's tough. He's a lot of pressure there. Guys getting open, but he had too much pressure up in his face. Couldn't see it. Tried to make a run. Tried to tuck in a run for the first down, but unfortunately, yeah. turned over on downs there. He's going to uh, you know have to watch this film and really. Uh, you know, just learn from it. That's all. I mean, he did have uh, Fletcher open there. He, 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 I thought he tucked the ball a little too early on that. But, uh, yeah, the pressure was up in his face. Yeah, a lot of positive takeaways for the young man on tonight's game. Nothing to hang his head about. A lot of things to learn from, though. That's that's the key here. you gotta, you got to learn from it. Get yourself better. Get ready for next week. Uh, timeout, Nazareth. we got a score of 21 to nothing with 519 left and we have a timeout Nazareth and you know Joe I did see another uh, out of town score up there on the scoreboard it was that uh, K Kids Hurricanes battle uh, I want to take a guess on what that score was I'm hoping 21 21 that Liberty came back you, you had half of it right 21 10 still okay. K Kids up there not a, they didn't get a time or a quarter I'm not sure if that's a final or not though yeah, Northampton did look good. I mean, it, you know, we played our best game. Well, obviously, it was our first game, but we played our best game of the year. I thought we even played better against them than we did Easton. Uh, we really looked good in that first game, and, and you know, that was Northampton's first game. So, you know, it's early in the year, but yet it's not because we're only playing five games. Uh, so who knows who, who's going to be on top here, but, you know, Northampton and Liberty are certainly fighting for that uh, for a playoff spot. Yeah, you never know throughout that uh, Yogi Bear quote there. It's getting late early, you know, Joe? You, you, these losses can really get, get you out of it pretty quick. Rowan to the outside, gain of about four on that play. Again, defense still playing tough. Kids, you can tell you what, they're playing with a lot of heart tonight. They're still coming up, gang tackling, making plays. Not getting your head down, real easy here, 21 nothing. Put your head down. I got still a lot to play with, a lot to play for. Under five minutes, we got second down and six. Ball on the 28 yard line, fourth quarter. Nazareth with the ball and the lead. We have twins to the near side. Single receiver in motion to the far side, handoff. Ball Ball's on the floor, on the, on the floor, get it. Good ball. And freedom comes away freedom with come it. Out of it. Freedom does 55 have it. Coming out of the pile. That's what we needed. We there needed we a turnover. Number 55, Kreidler with the fumble recovery. That ball went on the turf, and, and I'm not sure Roan knew he was going to get the ball. The wide receiver came across. They faked it to him, then handed the ball to Roan pretty late, and that ball went on the carpet, and Kreidler was at the right place at the right time. And again, there's your defense still playing heady ball, looking for that tackle. You're right, that mesh point there back in the backfield, you had the, the wide receiver speed sweep coming through, the delayed handoff to Roan, a little miscommunication, missed the handoff. Hey, we score here. I've seen crazier things happen. You get an onside uh, kick, you yeah. never know. Well, Four still 4.30 left in left. the fourth quarter. He's got to take a shot here. Nining back, he's got Johnson, Johnson McCormick, McCormick open. Wide open. There he is. Makes the cut. Catch, touchdown. Johnson McCormick. We got a flag With down a here on the play. I think that's going to be defensive pass interference. No, that, that might, play should stand. That looks like it's coming back. That looks like it's coming. Oh, no, no. Kreidler saying income. Yes. That play will stand. Touchdown, Patriots. Great that, pass, great catch. You got to do that at least three or four times a game, Danny. You throw it up to Owen Johnson McCormick because he makes those plays. Uh, this is not a fluke. This is not just a 50-50 a ball. When you throw it up to him, it's more like a 70-30 and we just got ourselves some points, and here we go. Four minutes and 24 seconds left. You get an onside kick, and we got ourselves a game. Well, and for a sophomore, it's 6'1", 210. He's got the speed. He's got strength to go along with that body. He can go up and make that play. Ran right through the defender on there. The defender tried to hold on to him, grab the jersey. Still made through it, made a great catch, and he got, got points on the board here. A little low snap, he gets it off and up and good. Nice job, Fury in there with the extra point. Great job. 
I'll tell you what, that was uh, Hoke on the hold there. That was a nice job. A little low snap, kind of bounced it back to him, gathered it together, got it up. Extra point is good. Well, that's what we needed, certainly, for uh, for this game and for uh, for the future, uh, uh, you know, for the next couple of games. I mean, we need that confidence going into the next two games because, you know, listen, we come up short here, we come up short, not that big of a deal. We're going to make the playoffs. We're going to be there, and we just got to now get knighting some confidence uh, to, be, to, uh, to be able to uh, compete at the varsity level and, and be a successful quarterback because we got all the other pieces. We got a great defense. We got great receivers, and, and we just need knighting to, uh, to play his role, and, and we're going to be fine. So what do you think, Danny? Onside kick here? I don't know, Joe. That uh, would take the pass interference penalty up here or a holding actually that was a 10-yard penalty a hold they got a, a holding on that one moves the kickoff up to the 50-yard line looks like we're going to set up here for maybe a possible onside kick yeah i think you have to i think it's time you know and you, you know you never know here we get this ball and we, we get another touchdown we got ourselves a game that ball that's nice kick uh, number 11 comes up with a nice play on that yeah you didn't get the hop kind of really Put a leg into that one a little bit too hard. You're hoping for that ball to kind of go end over end, hop up there, pounce, bounce up. One of your D, your uh, your players there can jump up and, and grab that one. Yeah, that, that kind of that never took that high bounce. No, did it, it did not. It that hugged the ground. That was a and that was Cabrera a worm burner nice coming right through there. Cabrera looked like a shortstop on that one. And yeah, nice hands on that one. That's a tough play. Four minutes and 22 seconds left. We got first and ten with the ball on the 38 yard line. And Freedom's starting to get a little excitement here. Yeah, we got here. the band down there. I tell you what, band director Mike Brand got his kids in there. They're getting get a little noise. Getting behind this this Patriot team. They're not giving up. They're playing. They're battling tough tonight. Hand off up the middle. And there we All go. Right. Nice. Oh, we got to make that tackle for a loss there. But, yes, yeah, speaking of Mike Moran, he does a fantastic job at Freedom High School with our band. He's just uh, constantly uh, get, puts these kids in a position uh, of showing us what they're capable of doing, and, and they are do a fantastic job. And so proud of our band and so proud of everybody here tonight. Uh, and we're still here competing, and we got three minutes, 53 seconds left. Kreidler is certainly being, looks like a vocal leader out there. He's trying to get the crowd involved in that. Jake Schwinn on that last tackle there. Almost had him for a loss. Roan broke through a little bit. Gave the positive yards. Need a big play on this one. Another hand off to Roan. Kicks it to the outside. Makes a nice little move. Gets a first down inside the 50 at the 42-yard line. 46-yard line. Yeah, that was a nice run on that, on that play. Got a good block. Uh, seal block on the corner there. Might have been a possible block in the back they didn't call it give them the first down that's not what you want you need you need to stop the clock here you need you need to stop the can't give up more first downs three minutes and 19 seconds first down and 10 ball on the 46 yard line they're obviously not going to put this in the air at all uh you know you're going to see freedom's linebackers really stepping up and trying to clog these holes um Roan on the run, another kick out to the outside, but nothing there this time. Gain of two. And that's a nice play, but a defensive line holding steady on that one, forcing them to the outside, stringing it out. And the pitch makes taking a time out here. Tell you what, a lot of, like we said before, Joe, a lot of positives to take away from this game for your young quarterback. I know that's, you're not, you're not looking for moral victories on this. I know that's, uh, that's an old cliche, you know. You take away moral victories from a loss, but it losses hurt. And but this the young young quarterback really stepped up. I thought he played a, a really nice game tonight. Yeah, and this five game schedule, you know, one loss is certainly not going to uh, be the end of the season here. We're we're still in very good position. Uh, we have Becca coming up next weekend on Saturday, and we have Liberty, and and both of those teams are you know are there for the picking and. Uh, you know, if Liberty falls to Northampton, they're going to be 0-3. And, and uh, Becca, they ended up – Bethlehem Catholic uh, was playing Easton tonight, uh, so they can end up being 1-2. and two. So uh, we're in good position. Uh, so we just got to, uh, you know, put this game behind us but learn from it and, and get, get uh, knighting a lot more reps for next week. We got uh, twins receivers to the near side, single receiver to the far side. We're certainly going to see a lot of roan on this, on this – uh, 
down on this series. Oh, he oh, does put the, the ball, ball in the air. air wow. And, and complete. I'm not really understanding that one. You're going to stop the clock. Wow. I did not understand that one. Uh, even though he was there, you, you know, it's. Uh, wow. That, Third and that nine. One. So we got a clock stops at 248. Third and nine. Big play here for the defense. You come up, you get a, you get a stop here. Yeah, not so sure the why they put the ball in the air on that one, Danny. Um, but uh, they did, and it helped Freedom out. It's 2.48 left, stops the clock, and we got third down and nine, and Freedom still has uh, one or two timeouts. They got two, time two timeouts. timeouts left. Two timeouts. And he's throwing the ball again. Putting, about, putting up the ball again, going over and the he's middle. He's got a guy and open. And he's. Uh, that's Catches the ball on the 20, takes it down to the 15-yard line. And third, and, third and long like that, he had let him come. Re receiver looked like we were kind of in a zone on defense there. There's the receiver worked down the zone, worked down the seam rather, got in there. You, you, the ball seemed like it was in the air forever. You, you're hoping a, a defensive back can make a, and make a move, make a cut on there, knock it down, get that fourth down. But Again, I'm really surprised they're putting it in the air, but I guess they're not not—they're not looking at giving Freena High School the ball back. And with two, two minutes and 20 seconds left in first and 10, I, I don't know if we will get it that back because they're going to run this down to the two-minute warning. Or can they? They'll probably call it. They'll have to run a play here because of the uh, play clock. They hand it off to Roan. Roan runs down down the there. middle. Off About the an eight-yard gain there. Yeah, you got a nice, nice seal block right side of the offensive line. Did a nice shot coming down, making that able to let Roan get around the corner there. Positive yards. That's a big, big gain on first down. Eight, eight yards. All right, so we got Whitehall who won that game, Danny. So we're one-one on that. You're saying that uh, Liberty uh, looked like they were going to lose that one. You might win that one. Could be. be. You might be up on me. Didn't get any other score updates from uh, around the valley. If anybody has scores out there, you can text them in. I'll have to wait till you're having your morning uh, Cheerios tomorrow morning and see those uh, scores in the morning call. One minute and 20 seconds left. Clock is running. We got second down and two. And there's Snap off the, middle the again. up the middle. And and I think that's, we might be moving the chains again on that one. And I think that's going to be the... Uh, that's going to be pretty close to your ball game right there. I don't yeah. think they're going to put the ball up in the air anymore. I think you're going to see ground and pound here, Roan. Steady die to a Roan up the middle. Yeah, 106 they have left here, 105. Yeah, they got to run two more plays, and that will do it for, for Nazareth. Uh, you know, this was, you know, it was a good game. It was well played on both sides. I thought, uh, you know, we, we, we made some mistakes that really ended up costing us, but uh, we're going to learn from those mistakes and uh, – and, and, and come back next week and, and get a get a win. Uh, we have 31 to 10 Northampton. Ooh. I just got that score. Thank you. Uh, and um, so Liberty, oof, Liberty, just again just is struggling, uh, putting points on the board and, and you know coming away with these wins. So that score was 31 to 10. So it looks like you're going to get me on that one, Danny. There you go. Uh, you called Northampton the K kids. kids. Uh, come away with a victory on this one. And this one's kind of clocked down. It's 15 seconds left, 14, and they're walking off the field. And that will end the score here at Nazareth 21, Freedom 7 at BASD Stadium. Well, like we said before, Joe, I know Coach Roeder's going to get his team together here after this. Uh, this is not going to sit well with them tonight, but you're going to regroup. You're going to get together. Your young quarterback played a nice game. Except for players and, and they're yeah. going to get ready for uh, for next week when you get the Golden Hawks coming on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, 3 o'clock on Saturday. Hope we, hopefully everybody comes back out and sees us uh, play against Bethlehem Catholic. Um, and, and then we got Liberty the following Saturday. So, yeah, this one loss certainly is not going to uh, be the, the end all to our season. Uh, Nighting's only going to get better uh, with more and more reps. We still, you know, we have two great running backs. We have a great defense. Our line, again, really, I thought, played a good second half. Um, and, and, and we did, you know, we did move the ball. We just didn't. Uh, tie enough first downs together to, to make it effective uh, and we just didn't put those points on the board but uh, but again we only we kept Nazareth down to 21 points and, and they looked at times where where they they struggled so you know I have a feeling we're going to see these guys again in the playoffs Danny I, I would not doubt that one bit you know and we, we talked about keys for tonight's game and, and something that can't give up the big plays and a couple 
three, four big plays for for Nazareth Blue Eagles. There was a difference in tonight's ball game, and and you know what, the Patriots came up with their own big play there towards the end, something to build off of. I know we keep saying that, but that's that's what you got to keep preaching to the kids tonight, next week. Get in, watch the film, learn from the mistakes, get your victory next weekend. Yeah, and next weekend I'm with uh, Coach Puxin of Moravian College. Uh, but thank you, Danny Kramis, for joining us tonight. I'm getting fired already. Well, you know, every Once week, done. every week I have a new uh, a new guest, and uh, <laughs> Coach Pux 